see the seed of the dying and shameless, uh, a seed of the aimless, I don't wanna be one of the nameless, I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it, and I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Touchdown! Touchdown Detroit Lions! We win it! Yeah! We, yeah, don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring, I just want a life that is worth every day exploring, I my whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. Week three of the preseason is here, folks, and how the hell are you guys doing? Yes, the final week of preseason. After this game, we going straight to the regular season. Folks, we got 76 in the building with 25 likes, now 27. Smash that like button, because why? It pushes the content out there, and I am drinking. So let's have fun. It is all about that one pride. It's all about having that good time. And it's a good thing to see Lions football on a Sunday. And it's a game that we actually see that's not at 1 p.m. So let's effing go. Drink up, folks. Drink up. It's going to be a good one. Yes, we got the starters playing in this game minus, just like in the comment section there, Jared Goff. So we're going to see some uh, offensive line action. We got to see some battles in the run game. How's Jackson going to do? Tight ends. Mitchell, how's he going to play? Defensive line. All sorts of issues going on at the linebacker. Who's going to sort it out? Then obviously we got the secondary. We got the cornerback battle. Akuda Harris. We got stuff going on with the safety. We don't really know, but we just know that we're about to go. And right now I see Dennis GQ in the building. We got Ben Diesel. Love the name, Chrome. A Coop. Dennis Titrack. Psycho Billy Demon, Justin May the Rapper, Wardo, John Ball, AWF, Team Dennis, Team $10, Tommy, 757, Ubaldo, Smiley Delarosa, Dennis, we got my number one Lionor of Douche Baggia in the building, man. She killed it on OPP Thursday. Brandon Kenny, Sunny Day, we got General in the building, Guy Cloppiness. Man, Frog Crop, what's up, Jamie Ward? We all having a damn good time right now. Good morning, USA, and Nash and Denup. What's up? I thought it said Ragnarok for a minute. And Rock Hot Flames. Hey, we take it all day, folks. We take it all day. If you're a Steelers fan, let me know in the comments section. If you're a Lions fan, let me know in the comments section. If you like the Lions, put one pride. One pride in the comments section. Show your pride. If you're a Steelers fan... Put your Steelers in the comments. I want to see who's all up in this building right now. What fan base is repping right now? I'm curious to see. Well, I'm a Lions fan, so you already know. I mean, come on, man. I'm wearing my stuff. One pride right there. One pride right there. Douchebaggia says she's rooting for Jackson Alexander. Punch their tickets in the big performance. I'm with you. 100%. We got Devin, Lions, not Lions. Craig says, what's up? I know he's a Lions. One pride. I'm a Steelers fan. AWF, shout out to you. One pride, one pride, one pride, one pride. It's coming in quick, folks. It's coming in real quick. Mike, did you see the video of JMO working out? I did, and I tweeted it out. That's why you need to follow me. George Herndon, he says, shout out, Mike. I just gave you a shout out right there. Look, there's a lot of people coming in and out, but you can follow me on Twitter, at MicroMike85. I threw that video out there. A lot of one prides, but AWF is repping the Steelers. I love it. I love seeing the other fan bases in here. Got no issue with the Steelers. I'm curious to see what's going to happen with Mason Rudolph after this game. So if you're a Steelers fan, I'm sure you heard the rumors like us Lions fans there that, hell, they, they say, could the Lions potentially trade for? I don't know. I don't think he's going to be trading for anybody. I don't believe so, but... If he gets cut, 
If that boy gets cut, Mason Rudolph blinds, I guess, could take a look. We got Detroit, Dr. Detroit in the building. My guy right there, one of the nicest guys in the world. Appreciate you. Can't wait to hang out again. Hopefully more than just training camp. Just hang out, hang out. Only 30 years. Who is getting the number four wide receiver slot before game three? Well, before game three, well, you'd have to think Cephas, right? Because Jameson Williams is not going to play, but you got... I'm on Ross St. Brown, DJ Chark. You got Josh Reynolds. So you got Quintez Cephas, Khalif Raymond. They'll probably battle out. Just depends if Cephas is ready. Khalif Raymond is very fast. So I throw those two in the mix right there. Hello from Melbourne, Florida, Micro Mike. I'm 32. Well, I'm 37. Shout out your age in the comment section right now. I'm 37. Blow up the comment section with your age. If you're embarrassed, no reason to be, no reason to be embarrassed, but I am 37 years old. Your mic sounds perfect today. Love it. We will do, when this commercial is over, we'll do a sound check and make sure that the audio is good to go so you guys can hear the game. King T, what's up, man? What is up? We got 15, 54, 28, 35, 42, 43, 45, 13, 18, 53, 22, 36, 44, 59, 29, 35, 78, 32, 31, 20, 50, 6, 6, 5, 4, 5, 6, 50, 53, 53, 71. Allen Dana's a G, 39 Lions. Lion or douchebaggy, uh, she's right there with me. 67, 115. Craig, you are an OG. You must have been in World War I over there. We got 44. Y'all not know 71, 60, 50, 47, 40. We're all mixed bag here. We got... We got fans that are older. We got fans that are younger. We got Steelers fans. We got Lions fans. That's what the hell. 420 years old. Folks, that's crazy. I'm waiting for someone to say they're a little over 2,000 years old. Got to do it. 33.3, 35, 45, all in the building. I'll take a drink to that, folks. Q65. That is what's up. Where are you guys from? I'm from Holland, Michigan. We do this every... If you're new to the channel, I like to ask where everybody's from. I want to see and grasp where I'm getting the audience from. I'm from Holland, Michigan. So if you do, it's this way. I'm right here. I am right there. That's where I live, Holland, Michigan, 1969. Interesting mix. I think nailed it, Mike. Hey, we <laughs> got to get the voice going. Got to get it prepped, right? This is what's up. We got the Dern in the building. Huge shout out to the Dern, man. Hey, Dern. You didn't get to pick your guys in fantasy. Uh, Dr. Detroit and Douchebaggy, I'm coming for y'all. Y'all already know. I already won this. We got West Virginia, Chicago, Washington. We got Louisiana, Lakeland, Florida. I love Florida, man. Green Bay, 313 up in Detroit. Whitehall, Michigan, Detroit. Philadelphia, era. Taylor, Long Beach, California, 53 years old. John Arrowwood. We got Comets, Michigan, Victoria, Florida, Clarksville, Tennessee, England. We got... Shane Wyoming, born in Taylor, Michigan, OKC, Central Kentucky. I went to Fort Knox, Kentucky for my basic training. Let's see, Charleston, North Carolina, Mount Morris, Michigan. Moved from Holly Springs, North Carolina a long time ago. Springfield, I wonder if the Simpsons are over there. We got Minnesota, they're darn over the Minnesota. Got to deal with the Vikings in Minnesota. Hartford, Michigan. I can't pronounce that, John Arrowwood. Uh, Tacooms. Michigan, Sag Nasty. Chicago, North Carolina. Come on, a raise up. I got called in. Time looks okay. Hey, it's good. Ferrysburg, Michigan. I am ready for it. I'm, hey, you know, you already know. Battle Creek, Michigan. Lions fans since 1981. We got Borculo, Michigan. Kalamazoo, cold water. South of Toledo, all the way down. In the Midwest, in the Mid East, all the way down the whole damn world right now. Because we got one in England. Mike, did you see the TikTok where the coaches yells at you so much he loses his voice? No. Mike, I build a monument on the base of the base in Kentucky. We'll talk about it. Base at that you built a monument at Fort Knox, Kentucky. Hey, that's that's the home of armor right there. That's where I did my I did my 19-kilo Abrams tank training. I drove tanks there, shot tanks there. That's what's up. Bay Islands of Honduras. All right, guys, got the winner so far. That seems that's got to be the farthest way. New Jersey, I do like that one. B 
bit late today playing golf. Golf is way better than being on this stream. I don't know about you guys, but if you have a chance to play golf, you, you, you need to be playing golf, folks. That's fun. It's not that fun. Look, I can watch it every once in a while, but, God, it can be boring. Folks, we got 190 in the building with only 61 likes. How the hell do we not have 100? Smash that like button. Why? Because it pushes that content out there, and I like to get this thing freaking flowing. I'm going against, look, Chat Sports. So Y'all know I'm part of Chat Sports, right? That's cool. But there's a channel ahead of me called the Dolphins Channel. They're about three to 4,000 subscribers ahead. I want to beat them by the end of this season. That is my goal, to jump them. And then I'm coming for you, Harrison Graham. I'm coming for you, Chicago Bears with Harrison Graham. You're next after that, just like Goldberg. Where your beer, brother? Hey, I had a migraine, and so I had to get me a beer. Detroit native living in North Carolina now. Pittsburgh here. Who's going to win the game, folks? Who's going to win the game? This one's simple. Put L for Lions. Put, I can't, what, like S, S for Steelers. Put in the comment section right now. Just LS, spam it with L's or S's. want to see you think. Here's see who you have win this game. I, it's going to be difficult because we don't have a starting quarterback. We got Tim Boyles and David Blouse rolling with the QB. So that may be an issue for pulling out a W, but who do you got in the comment section? Send Quintus Cephas for Dante Fowler Jr. Ooh, I see you. I see you. Smash that like button. Absolutely. Why all 1 p.m. games? Because the NFL don't like us. That's why. <laughs> we got effed with that schedule. We got two Steelers in the building right now. We got AWF and Anthony Johnson. They said Steelers. The rest, Lions. Freaking love the AWF, by the way. That's a that's a cool name. And Avatar. Let's see. We got Craig says Steelers. So we got three Steelers. The rest, Lions. So right now, it's probably about, I say, 90% Leos. Now, we got another Steeler by Dr. Detroit. So that make about 88%, I would say, for Lions. Is there any more S's up in this mug? Spam it, y'all. Spam. Boil. Yeah, that boil makes it hard, folks. That makes it hard when you got a boil out there. Frog Crop, he's got all the emojis flowing. Frog Crop is killing it. Anybody's game. Who is the starting running back? It's going to be Swift. Everybody's starting from what I hear. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just got a $1.99 super chat by Hot Flames. And what I just realized is my my audio is not coming into my ears. So I have to change that really quick. Huge shout out to Rangoku Hot Flames $1.99 super chat. I appreciate you. And I had to take my kid to that uh, that Dragon Ball Z movie yesterday. I took her yesterday to the movie or Friday. One of the days. She liked it. Hashtag FGB, we got three six. Thanks, Mike. No problem, my guy. My wife says S. Yeah, she, you, hey, happy wife, happy life, folks. You know, that that's what it is. That's what it is. Y'all already know, happy wife, happy life. I, CB, and SS can't get beat in coverage. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. Yeah, Nicole, I am a fan of bourbon. Bourbon! Uh, that, that that's a that's like a rich person's drink. Oh my god. Let me let me get my stuff going here. So Can we do an audio check? We do this every time. Let me know how the audio sounds. If it needs to go up, say up. If it needs to go down, say down. Write me out test. He's going now to a place where he's going to be the show in the state of Louisiana. We know what kind How of How does it good. sound? Mm. He will Mix win, with my voice. Nick Saban did. He will win a national championship while they coach at LSU. I think you might be you might be right on that point. I'm going to give a nod to for Marcus audio. Freeman taking over there at Notre Dame. They uh, got the guy they wanted as far as those troops in that uh, locker room. He needs to go up. Room. He needs to go up. Neighbor, he needs to go down. He needs to go down. Is it perfect? Just stay perfect. Four and five. And, and, and he's just been outstanding. No got fire. Championships. He's put more NFL Audio's fine. guys in NFL than my long. All right, let me hear it. Got audio fine. Does Akuda get burnt today? I'm sure he does. Um, play affordable bourbons. Plenty affordable bourbons. Audio is awesome. AWF, I appreciate you. Sounds good here. Love it. It's great when the audio sounds great. No issues there. That's that's uh, perfect. So. Oh! 
Oh my God! Dab Daddy, two dollar super chat. Appreciate you, Dab Daddy. Dropping the two. You guys are on fire, and of course, hey, you gotta see my guy Ric Flair right here. Anytime I get a super chat, that guy. Can I do an ultra combat every time the Lions get a touchdown? I could try to remember to do it. He says, let's make the playoffs this year, baby. I would hope so. I would hope so. I don't know. It's going to be it's gonna be difficult. I, you know, I got seven, eight wins, but I would love it, Dab. I would love it. I have us just missing out a little bit. We got up. Mike, do you like scotch on the rocks? Rocks. I like it. Yeah, look, if I'm going to have a drink, it's definitely going to be on the rocks. I like it ice cold. My favorite, though, I got to tell you, it's Captain of Coke. Captain of Coke. You put a Captain and you put a Coke. You get it really freaking icy. And you put a tiny little straw in that mug, and I can sip on it. I can. I can. Mm. You're really loud. He says, increase game audio. You're really loud. Well, the audio is not on right now, so when the audio does come on on the game, we can do another test. But right now, a lot of people think it's pretty good. So we'll see. We'll see. It, we'll do another audio test when the game starts on here in, in 15 minutes. If it needs to go up, I'll definitely do that for you. Oh my God. Let's see. 99 Super Chat, Rangoku Hot Flames. Huge shout-out to you. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Let me see. Let me get a... Um, eh, I think I could do a little bit better. Yoga fire. I like. Fire. All right, we got yoga fire. Jameson ginger ale. Yeah, this is a local stuff. This is Oberon here locally, here in uh, West Michigan. Logan Stenberg trade for Mason Rudolph. Do you think? Would you do that trade? I that would not be a bad trade in all honesty. Player v player. If the, we weren't gonna go ahead and have Stenberg on this team and the Lions wanted to get a better backup, I think that would be a good trade, in all honesty. Let's see, Gummy Worms or Gummy Bears? Ooh, shoot. I, I'm not going to lie. I love the Gummy Lifesavers a lot. Those are good. Gummy Lifesavers are pretty damn good. So can I do that one? Can I do Gummy Lifesavers? Flacco or boil? Well, Flacco is definitely better, boil. Right, it is a bit on the sweet side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The 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 UP for Detroit. The UP for the D. All right. Just waiting for all this stuff. We got about 15 minutes till the game gets on here. And uh, we're going to have at it. It's going to be freaking epic for sure. Going to be epic. Can't wait. The old school Verners would put hair on your chest. That Verner stuff is a good acquired taste, by the way. It is acquired taste. Oh, my God. Notification is super loud, too. Hmm. That's crazy. Is it just you or is it everybody else? Starting to, because if it's just, maybe there's something uh, setting. I don't know. We'll have to wait. But hopefully it's, uh, it's, you know, it's not here. Michigan for Detroit. Go with the nerd gummies cluster. He said nerd gummies. D's nuts. Drew Reinhardt, just like our head coach said. If we win at least six. Belt could do it last year, right? Uh, this is going to be fun to watch what it has done. All right, got there. I can also do something spectacular. And um, if there's an issue, I can always do something spectacular as well. There's multiple different ways because we have like a little cloud area, but I can put on audio from the local. Uh, you'll hear the local affiliate. You'll hear the game. So anyway, we got three ways we can listen to this game and watch Watch it for me, not for you. Let's see. The Lions fan says 1957. I am listening. TNT, Trinidad, Tobato. Go Lions. Enjoy your show, Mark or Mike. Like the sound. Yeah, but I love it. Oh, my God. Notification is super loud. Everything else sounds fine. Interesting. Oh! I don't know why. I don't know why that is the case. I could not tell you the reason that is happening. Could not tell you. Don't know. But I got to check something out here real quick. I got to check something out here real quick. I need to have a backup just in case. Just in case. Let's see. Got that muted. Let's get... Uh, 
making sure I got backup audio so that either way, because this stupid area is cloudy right now, it's on CBS. So let me get this up. If I need to, this will go on. Hopefully I don't, but we'll see. I'm not sure why I would be doing that. Hadulkin? All right, let me see. We got we got Yoga Fire. I think we got I'm pretty sure we got Hadulkin. We got to. Right? Yep. So you can. And all you can right there. You have Stafford Jameson. This Jame J Mo, bro. J Mo. J Mo in the building. Hold up one second. Hold on one second. Oh, my God. If that helps there a little bit. There we go. I think it helped. We got a four ninety nine super chat from Zayka. Is Chark playing? As far as I know, he's playing. He absolutely is playing. Safe. Far as I know, he is playing. Yes, he is. Let's see. I'm going to get this audio. Got this one off. And let me get this one on, just in case. I'm going to ask you guys if you can hear something here in a minute. Can you hear that? That guy talking? Why for yes and for no if you can hear this guy talking? It's a commercial. Did you hear that? There's like a guy talking. It sounded like a commercial. Let me know if you heard that. That is my backup. That is my backup. Can't hear that. Okay. No one heard that. Let me see. Oh, line is doing a few snaps. No, okay. Let me see if you can hear. Do you hear that? Do you hear this? All right, one second. I will fix that right now because I know how to do this one. Now, let me get this thing up here for you guys. Um, yeah. And the I. There we go. Um. Yeah, I'm, let me get in this as the second one for you guys here. I just got to remember how to do it. Just give me a minute. Oh. NDI for this one. All right. Do you hear this? Do you hear that? Let's see. Okay. Do you hear that? Download the Domino's app today and 
All right, I got to do a test of my own thing here. Yeah. Nope, I don't hear it on here. All right. I'll do it old school if I have to. Hmm. Let me get this going here. I don't know why that didn't work. I don't know why that didn't work. Hmm. Okay. That's okay. Well, we're going to have to go old school, folks. And that's okay. We're going to have to go old school today. So... This is what's going to happen. <laughs> I'll be right back. Coming up next here on CBS, once we're done with our bananas. Here you eat your banana. No I will talk food. to you. Thank you for watching College Football food Kickoff mouth. presented by Mercedes-Benz. Oh, yeah. Enjoy the football. We'll see you back here Saturday. <laughs> Don't change the... Holy hell, that was a pain in the ass. All right. Got that going, folks. All right. Mike, my man, how you doing? Pretty good now. Pretty good now. Yo, 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 can you hear me fine? Is everything looking good now? Feeling good? All right, one second. I got to get one second. One second.
HD. All right. I got super backups now. Woo! Sorry about all that. Good to go now. We got backups upon the backups. Backups upon a backup. Sounds good to me. Yep, it just took a little bit. What's up, Alex? I got to catch my breath really quick. I just ran. All right. We got everything going. Thanks, douchebaggy. Yep, 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 yep. So who, what's the score going to be of this game, folks? What is the score going to be of this game? Let me know in the comment section. What do you got? As soon as also the game cast comes up, I'll post that for you guys. As you know, I'll wait for the game cast. You'll hear the audio of the game. We will get at it. We will get at it. And the game cast is not up as of yet. You the man, Mike. I'm driving back Ann Arbor North. Keep up the good work. Hey, I'm trying, man. I'm running left and right. I got three ways for this to work. <laughs> It's going to work, damn it. What's up, Von D Gaming? Bro, super backups. Bro, I got three ways. You went, you will listen to it. So if this goes south, I'll use utilize this. Damn it. So we're going to get it. 17, 13 lines. 27, 23 lines. 29, 24 lines. 32, 21 lines. What you drinking? I just got some Oberon locally. I had a migraine today. So I need to get a drink. Looks like we're getting close to the game, folks. The commercial's about to end. Mike Hughes makes the team. I don't know. It's going to be difficult. Still, like, they're doing the, the crazy stuff. Mike, you need to start jogging more. Hey, I was running up and down stairs, bro. <laughs> and I was looking for this freaking thing. So I got two ways. I got two ways we're going we gonna to listen to this bad boy. But uh, right now, it's just the commercial hyping the, the teams up. 27. Okay. 7. Get rid of these. If you guys can get rid of the spammers, too, we appreciate you. Hey, I appreciate everybody. Sorry for the, the hiccup in the beginning, guys. If you can re remove those spammers, that would be great. I can hear you in the UK. Oh, that's good, man. Weston, what's up, Weston? Appreciate you, my guy. Stupid spammers, man. Get up out of here, dog. Um, yeah, I can't even. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I got so much crap going on, so if you guys who's got Chrome, I'm going to give you one, too. I don't know how the hell you don't have one. I'm going to give you a moderator. NRG says lions suck. Hey, I don't mind you dogging the lions. Let's just do something better than lions suck. Let's come up with some better, some better ones. Like if you're going to dog, do, do something funny. I think we all good with that. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Pittsburgh. I'm Greg Gumbel. Here we go, folks. Charles Davis. Evan Washburn is with us as well down along the sidelines. It is that time of the year. How does it questions sound? Questions to be answered. Who's going to play where? Who's going to be on the roster? If there How does it sound, are folks? Answers. Yeah, and certainly the people who want the answers the most. You and me. Lions talk with watching, Cassie. All the fans out there, they want to find out the final roster. I love that so name. Root, root, root for the home team. Let's start with the Pittsburgh Steelers. No, you got to hit me up, Cassie. The Steelers hope that they Casey. have drafted his eventual successor. Well, they believe Great that day. they have because they took Kenny Pickett, the hometown kid, out of Pitt. Today, we'll see three quarterbacks. We'll see Mitchell Trubisky start. Kenny Pickett come in, also Mason. Hey, Rudolph. the reason I but gave Kenny that boy Pickett a bod is, is he's been. Story. Um, he's been on my channel for like 10 Trophy. years, man. All right, he was in the finals. This guy gets Chris it done. Chris at the champ. game. He is their future. Now, for the Detroit Lions, they are led by a fireball of a head coach, second-year head coach Dan Campbell. Boy, does he get it going for that team. All he wants is for them to compete. L for Lions. back Jared Goff who believes in him. S for Steelers. Who's going to win, Goff. folks? L for Lions, S for Steelers. Pick. Aiden Hutchinson, the defensive end out of Michigan. He wanted to be a Lion, and boy, is he playing well as a rookie. L for we Lions, S kickoff time for Steelers. For that segment of the pregame show, known Thanks as for taking care of the box. Report, and not coincidentally, here's Evan. 
Hey, Greg, as you well know, the Steelers have a reputation for finding value in elite players at the wide receiver position outside of the first round. Names like Great. Antonio Brown, Chase awesome. Claypool, for example. Well, they may have George Pickens is a beast. God dang, you guys got George a good one. Pickens, who was the you guys got a good one, folks. Selected in this year's draft. He's made got a good one. plays in the preseason. Mike Tomlin saying he's a rare talent. Kenny Pickett saying... You just throw it in his zip coat. He's coming How do we only got 135 it. likes? Let's on get to 150. On 13 away, folks. 13 likes away. Sir, thank you very much. It is a beautiful day in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Temperature is now up over 90. Let's go. Very little wind. It's still very much summertime <laughs> as we get set for this final preseason game of 2022. The L, we got Drew, the says Lions. They Here we go. Lions get the ball first, folks. So the Lions. Ball is up. Getting their hands on the football first. Let me get Justin the game Jackson cast up for you guys. Return this one from the one. Five. 20. To the 25. To the 30-yard 20, 20, line. Too close to the 30-yard line. So at quarterback, Jared Goff is the Lions starter. He will not play today. Tim Boyle and David Blau battling for the backup role, and Boyle gets first crack at it tonight. And it is truly a battle. Normally, you know who your backup quarterback is going into your final preseason game for Detroit. This is the final audition. One of them will be named QB2 after the roster cuts. Boyle gets the first shot today. Waiting for Gamecast to get on. Tim Boyle. Shotgun, five season, wide receivers, three to the right, two down. All this snap, stand pocket. Throws it, caught, complete, complete to the 40. The 40. Four yard line. Down yard, it's tight end TJ Hawkinson. The Lions have worked very hard to add depth to their offensive line. And went out and got the newcomer, well, how they. Halavala, I, I gotta get the name right, right off the bat. I have a uh, Halapul Vatai Vaitai. Thank you very much. Halapul Vatai Vaitai. Greg, I used to spend time in the mirror in the hotel room. <laughs> Going over that name. Boyle in the center of all this snap, <laughs> give it the back. Eight of two. Across the 45, penalty marker flies. Flag on the and play. And we'll see our first penalty of the day. Jamar Jefferson Flag. tackled Offside. by T.J. Watt. Defense number 65. 65. Five yard penalty, still first down. So Larry Ogunjobi, guilty of the offside. Nice pickup for Pittsburgh in the offseason. He's been with Cleveland. He's been with Cincinnati. Got hurt late in the season as the Bengals made their run to the Super Bowl. The Steelers happy to have him on their roster. First and five. All snap, play action. Throws it. Incomplete. Pass to the near side and dropped by Amon Ross St. Brown. He doesn't do that. Pittsburgh's 3 dropped. 4 defense starts with the very classy veteran defensive end, Cameron Hayward. And Pittsburgh led the NFL with 55 sacks last year. TJ Watt, Charles, at 22 and a half of them. You never worry about Pittsburgh bringing pressure against a quarterback. Blitzburg Here we go, will folks. always be Blitzburgh. But what hurt them last year? They run Second defense. and five. Near the bottom of the league. If they shore that up, the sacks will get even higher. Ball snapped, give it the back down the middle. Gain of two. Just into Pittsburgh territory. Cameron Hayward making that stop. Jefferson ain't making the team. I believe he's not. At about three. So we won't see the first couple of runners for the Detroit Lions. They feel very good about DeAndre Swift and Jamal Williams as their lead guys. Jamar Jefferson, he ran really hard for them last year. They want to see him get a real crack at it. A bell cow back out of order. We go. State. Boyle under center Jefferson at the 49 of the Steelers. Ball snap given the back, taken down. Loss of four. Going nowhere, brought down back. Jefferson. Yard line once again, TJ Watt. Punt. And in every game plan, you say you're going to block number 90 and TJ Watt, but if you don't block him, Kane Sewell got beat by Watt. You know, there's plenty of guys, if you don't block them, they may miss the tackle or what have you. T.J. Watt, he wreaks havoc no matter what, but unblocked, look out. Gunnar Olszewski is standing at his own 10-yard line. Jack Foster punted away for Detroit. Ball is up. Olszewski. Taken at the 8. 15. 
20, two-yard line. Brings it out across the 20, out of bounds at about the 21, maybe the 22-yard line. 12, 31 to play. All right, it's going to a commercial break. Watt is a beast. He beat Panay Sewell, got the easy takedown of Jamar Jefferson. Jamar Jefferson doesn't look good. So right now, loser, I got to say, is Jefferson. I'm going to just put him right down. He's not doing so good right now. What do you guys think of that drive? One word for that drive, I would say slow. Man, these bots are insane today. God. Will the Steelers score on this drive? If you think they're going to get three, put three. If you think they're going to get seven, put seven. If you think they're going to get nothing, put nothing. Will the Steelers score on this drive? Let me know in the comment section right now. I say they get three. I think they get three points. I think they'll get three. I think the Steelers will strike first. Cheeks, Justin Jackson looks like that guy. Y'all got more bots than fans in here. I know Thomas Gage. I don't know what the hell is going on here with these bots. Boo. Cheeks. Seven. Seven. Zero. Zero. Average. Seven. Did Jefferson fumble? No, it was just a didn't get a didn't get a first down. Block Watt. Ex exactly. You need to block Watt. You need to block the guy. Zero zero three zero zero three zero pick six seven. Steelers Nation in the building. What's up, Blazed? What's going on, man? I know it's your team versus our team on this one. Make sure you subscribe to Blazed Radio. Two points for the Lions safety. That's hilarious. That would be fun. That would have to be one hell of a safety. That would have to go way back. That would have to go way back. Punt. Nothing. All right. Game's about to come back on from commercial break here. About to see what happens here. It was a beautiful day. Look at that shot for the aerial coverage of today's game. Provided by Goodyear. You can always find a bridge Trubisky here. Trubisky at we quarterback. Will see all three Steeler quarterbacks today. Mitch Trubisky starts. Mike Tomlin very happy with his quarterback room. He loves his quarterback room because Mr. Trubisky was someone that they identified that they wanted. Will they score the on this drive? Young, but experienced and has won some games in this league. Been to the playoffs Two backs, Trubisky on the center. Ball snap. The run back down, down the middle. A gain of three and a half. These bots are nuts. There is the rookie, Kenny Pickett, 20th overall selection out of the University of Pittsburgh. And Mason Rudolph, the fifth-year QB from Oklahoma State. And maybe Mason Rudolph has played his best football as a Pittsburgh Steeler in this preseason. That is not hyperbole. Second and seven. What an uphill battle for him. You signed Mitchell Trubisky as a free agent. You know you want him. You Three wide receivers. Like 20. Mason Rudolph may have done nothing wrong. Play action. So he's the man out. he's, he's taken right. down for a loss of two. Out of bounds back at about the by Walker. Yard line by Tracy Walker. On the Good job by Walker there. Pittsburgh. Went out and got some newcomers. Mason Cole is one of them. James Daniels is another. And they need them to really elevate their game. Dan Moore, second-year starter at left Will tackle. they get this they third down? Third and well. eight. Kevin told you about the wide receiver, George Pickens. <laughs> uh, could Mike Tomlin just beam enough? Over number 14. Shotgun uh, formation. Uh, two wide right receivers right up George with Pickens. one tight end. Wide receiver Talent. down. Ball is snapped. Trying for a four. Sacked. Loss of 10. And down inside the 20 yard line. Aiden Hutchinson. Aiden Hutchinson. On stop along with Charles Harris. And that was a great combination for the Detroit defense. Aiden Aaron Hutchinson. Leonard, defensive coordinator. And when I say combination, the pass rush was good. That wasn't, that's, that's not everything though. The reason? He's the, the real deal, Look folks. At the back end and tell me where someone's open. There is no one for Mitchell Trubisky to deliver the ball to. Hutchinson puts him on the ground. Ball is up. Bought at the 45. At about his own 45. Turns and goes in the opposite Lost direction. Lost one yard. 
from pursuit. That's where we'll get started. Going to a commercial break. Let's go. Hey, blow up the comments section with one word for Aiden Hutchinson. One word for Aiden Hutchinson. I'm going to put monster. Monster. That is my word for the comment section for Aiden Hutchinson. Also, how the hell do we not have 200 likes? Let's get 16 more likes. We're at 184. Let's get to 200 likes. Blow up the like comment and blow up the comments about Aiden the Hutchinson. Folks, I'd love to get to uh, 23,500 subscribers. Today, we're at 23,435. 65 away to get 23,500. So even if you're a Steelers fan, go subscribe. Hey, ask my guy Blaze in the comment section. He is a Steelers fan. We have fun on this channel. OPP Thursday, we'll talk about anything NFL. You want to talk about Steelers? We will have fun doing so. Ultra combo, okay. So y'all wanted an ultra combo. Well, how about we do a combo breaker for that one? Let's do a combo breaker. Ultra combo I'll do for a touchdown. We'll do. Combo breaker. That was a combo breaker. Killer. I love that's a good one, man. Clutch. Beast. Violent. Yeah, D is def I do believe he's defensive rookie of the year. He's he's been Hutch has been killing it, man. <laughs> Hutch is a beast. He's, he's just been absolutely. Thanks, Jacksonville. I know. Madison says Steelers Nation with the hearts. Appreciate you jumping in here, Madison. Other people's uh, Pen 15 on Thursday. Uh, John Penasini's, that's for sure. Let's see, Hitman Hutch. Ooh, that's a good one, Hitman Hutch. This guy says something, something. Respect the authority. Let's see what this offense can do with Tim Boyle. Pat McAfee claims he plunked Hutchinson and Cameron Hayward. Hutch is a beast. D Rock. Progressive. Come on, let the stupid progressive commercial part of it. Let's get to the game. We want the game. Here we go. No shortage of the little ones. All oh, Steve Austin on music. Day in Pittsburgh. We got Stone Cold in the music. Terrible towels coming in handy, aren't they, Greg? <laughs> For a little, little shade? Yes. Ah, uh, boy, we under center. We need it. <laughs> Two wide receivers. And again. Extra oh, lineman. TJ Hawkinson and one back. Ball snap. Into back up the middle. In one. On the left side. Just creeps across the 45 yard line. Larry Ogunjobi with the stop. Boyle is going to play the entire first half and then will be relieved in the second half. Why is half Jefferson, by David Block. Jefferson's not making it? Come on. Up the tempo Shotgun here. formation. Four wide receivers. Operate from the line of scrimmage. Now slowing things down. He moves under center. Second and nine. All right, now he moves it back to the center. Ball snapped, play action. Almost intercepted with a bat now by Tim Trash Boyle. Is that Cam? Is that Cam Hayward getting involved? And I think T.J. Watt from Ah, Boyle side. sucks, man. Watt here, and then watch the middle. There's Hayward, 97, left hand, knocks it out of the sky. Those two haven't collaborated for big plays. Third down with Tim Boyle. I can't show the game because I'll get I'll get kicked off YouTube. So it's here. Shotgun. Three wide receivers and TJ. Offsides if they were to win. All snapped. Flag. Thrown it. Incomplete. And that pass is incomplete. Let's see what the flag is. Our flag on the play. Is Alex Kemp. Illegal formation. Illegal formation. Offense. 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 Number 68 wasn't on the line of scrimmage. That penalty's declined. Fourth down. Ah, the left tackle, sucks. Taylor Decker. The third and nine, you ought to get those offensive tackles and get back up just a little bit more trying to help themselves. Here with the we go the with the punt. Taylor Decker backed himself into the backfield. You have most of your body moving looking forward for the officials so the officials don't throw the flag. Steven Sims. Back on his own Where can you screen the, the game from? Three. Don't know. You gotta get 
Cape or local media. Fair catch at the 15. 15 yard line. So we are. Commercial break again. Again, if you don't know, you can't put the visual of the game on here. YouTube will kick you off. NFL copyrights it. Automatic strike. Boom. Off there. That's why you get these ridiculous bots that keep coming in here and annoying the flow of the conversation. We'll see what the Lions defense could do again. Now, they showed pretty good, actually, in the first drive. Lions offense, not so much. Jefferson is the running back. That hurts the Lions run game for sure. Tim Boyle. And then you have, again, a Taylor Decker flag. The dude always does flags. So, Decker flag. Let's see, CBS. The game is national broadcast is CBS. Rudolph is a scrub. I think Rudolph stays unless he's third string. The offense looks horrible. It's because of Boyle, and we got Jefferson at running back. Keep looking for 85 on special teams, but haven't seen him yet. These bots are horrible today. I may have to go to all subscriber mode just because of these bots because it's really ruining the stream. It really is. To be fair, Steers' offensive line is paper mache. What's going on, Spirit of Detroit? Welcome. Okay, back. How we looking? Offense with Boyle and Jefferson, not so good. Defense look really good on the first drive. Let's go, Steelers. Jim Swain, we got you, bro. Appreciate it. I may have to go to all, because this is ridiculous with the This is getting ridiculous with the bots, and it's ruining the stream here. So I may may have to go to all subscriber stream just to, to stop it, but I haven't done it yet, so don't worry. Let's go Steelers. Let's see Justin Jackson at running back. That's what I'm saying. Boyle and Jefferson suck. Agree. How do I subscribe? Oh, you just hit the, the big red subscribe button. It says the word subscribe. This is ridiculous, though. Um, we thank you for Gene for subscribing. Let me get back to the game here. Equally, he actually wanted to be a Lion, and the Lions knew sitting at two. There's a chance he could be gone at one to Jackson, but when it's a Trayvon Walker, they turn the card in immediately. Four wide receivers, ball, snap, <laughs> throws it, complete, that pass is complete for four yards. Close to the 20-yard line with the catch is Pat Fryermuth, the tight end. <laughs> I mean, the league said, don't turn it in so fast. We're supposed to talk about these picks. They the go to said, all. This is the guy we want. Look at him working against Dan Moore, the second-year tackle from Texas A&M. Good, strong up Let's get to rush. 250 likes, 250 likes. In his career, it's not just the initial pass rush. Second Greg. five. It's the second move, the third move, the finishing move. Let's get set ball snap here with the running back. Loss of two. Harris can't get away from the tackle inside and prior to the line. Good tackle. Lions defense is better. Well, made in Michigan, you bet. He's all over. I haven't done it yet, Michigan. son, sister. I haven't done it yet. His parents, both Michigan graduates. His dad, Chris, played. And he only finished second in the Heisman voting last year, which is unheard of for a defensive line. And just think, he was chasing his father. Thank you, Moonshine, at Derby, the and at Livetron for subscribing. Michigan and an NFL draft pick in a short time in the NFL. But he had a set, he had Third a and seven, Lions showing that. blitz, ball is snapped, flag on the play, throws it deep. Flag, it's going to be on the Lions. And some movement prior to the snap. Neutral zone infraction, defense number 97. Five-yard penalty, still third down. That was Hutchinson. Here we go. Every, every now and then you get the praise. You got to rein it in a little bit, trying to get off the snap quicker. And they Third catch him down in the and zone. short. You see the pointing immediately. James Daniel, the veteran from Chicago Bears, pointing out to Hutchinson. It jumped early and the flags came out. You know, it wasn't, there, there was no hesitation. We asked Jared Goff about you know, whether or not he's for real or not. He said, oh yeah, he's the real deal. Three wide receivers. Glenn, the defense coordinator has said he's better, even more athletic. Ball than is snapped. He throws it deep. Going deep down the Off. Off. Caught. Holy hell. Inside the 40 yard what a hell of a throw and a catch. On the reception. 
The speed of Johnson at the top of the your speed screen got always in evidence, but look the at the extra um, gear. Monty Warrior just got beat big they there. Ball is snapped. Give the running back down the middle. On first down. Gain of 10. Moving inside the 30-yard line is Najee Harris. Let's go back to that catch. Right there, I think he got a little extra in his giddy up to go get the football. Amani that got ball beat. Was perfectly thrown. It was Deontay Johnson's ball or no one. I cannot show the game. Deontay Nuts. Johnson made the decision. Mitchell Trubisky right with that catch. So the ball now at the Detroit 28-yard line. Ball snap. Screen. Inside the 25. Gain of eight. Inside the 20 where he is hit hard. About a yard shy of a first down. Deshaun Elliott coming up from his safety position. Yeah. Somewhat of a surprise that Najee Harris plays at all in the preseason, considering he had 381 total touches last year and will at least approach that number this year. But Mike Tomlin Second and down and two. to get him a little work before the season began. I think this is the series, Greg. He finishes this series and then he goes for the ball cap. Let's see if they go back to him here. He missed two weeks of practice with an injury. Trying to get a little rust off this before the regular season comes around. All snaps, rolling out. Throws it, first down. Five-yard game. Akuda. That is Miles Boykin, the fourth-year receiver out of good there. Game. We go back to this quarterback situation here in Pittsburgh. Who's going to be the number one guy? We know Kenny Pickett's the future. Can he be the present? And he's played pretty well in the preseason. But they got Mitchell Trubisky for a reason. His ability to move around and inside and out of the pocket. He has been to the playoffs twice as a starting quarterback. And still young enough that his skills are still advancing. This drive right here, here is, go. Is, is symbolic of what they wanted out of him. First and 10 at the 15. Shotgun formation. On first down. All is snapped. Give it to running back. Miss tackle, miss tackle, miss tackle. Flag on the play. Works his way inside the ten to about the seven. Holding, holding. Offense number sixty-five. Ten-yard penalty. Still first down. That penalty is on Dan Moore and will bring the Steelers back a little bit. Now, I don't think it was the ten initial. Ten-yard penalty it was late for holding. As Najee Harris makes his move outside, right there. And who's he holding? The number one pick for the Detroit Lions, Aiden Hutchinson. And that was something when you watched the hard knock show that the defensive coaches kept talking about with their defense, Detroit Lions. Come on, Nate defense, got to stiffen up a little block, bit. Meaning, don't give up on the initial block. Get off of the block, get out there, get extended, and let them see those hands holding you. Aiden Hutchinson did it right. The rookie, Jalen Shotgun Ryan, formation. Right now, All is snap. Keep running back out of the backfield, a gain of 15. Second down. down at the 12-yard line. I don't know about you, but it's hard for me to get used to seeing Gunnar Osheski in black and gold when I'm used to seeing him in that Patriots uniform, returning kicks and running jet sweeps. This guy's done it all in his career. He was an all Why is the time back in the off on Before he flipped over the wide receiver in the NFL. And we talk about his that pro first. bowl and all pro uh, return skills. Steelers give him a look everywhere. On second and eight now. Ball snap. Trubisky, sack. Another flag flies as he's at the 12-yard line. Bruce Hector, Demetrius Taylor with the stop. Oh, my God, the time is here. And this has been a concern for Pittsburgh all during the preseason. How is this offensive line going to shake out? And when will, they, when will they get consistency in play? Holding. Holding. Offense, Offense number 65. 10-yard penalty. Second down. Dan this. Moore not liking the resume he's building. <laughs> no, he's building the wrong direction. This is Moore here. Second straight holding call. This one against Charles Harris, who really resurrected his career last year in Detroit. Former first-round pick of the Miami Dolphins. Had seven and a half sacks and led the Lions. There's Mike Tomlin. I'm thinking he's 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 thinking to himself right now. We get the shotgun back formation the line with this offensive line. They need some work up front if they're going to be ready for the season opener in Cincinnati. Ball is snapped. Throws it to the deep. He's open. Incomplete. Incomplete pass intended for Gunnar Olszewski. 
Good pressure brought by the Lions. It was. And they really got into the face of Mitchell Trubisky. Because there's issues here. That's true. why I'm having throw by there's issues. I'm trying to do ten things at one time. To the left, just, just away from the pressure. And he throws it up with some loft to give Oshesky a chance to make a play on the football. If he's able to make an adjustment and get his head around, he might have a chance for that completion. But no Lion was in danger of picking that one off. So now it's third and Third and 18. 18. Harris, who can catch the ball out of the backfield. And early movement again on the offensive line. Ball start. Ball start. Offense number 69. 69. Five yard penalty. Third down. That's Kevin Dotson. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this is not the clockwork precision <laughs> that Mike Tomlin was oh, looking okay. for in the last preseason game. No, and, and remember the first two penalties were against Dan Moore, the left tackle. So here's Kevin Dotson with a chance to solidify the left guard position. Kendrick Green essentially pulled out the lineup for it and, and running for it. So he says, okay, if you've done two, Dan, I'm on the side with you. Let me get one in myself. Not what they're looking for. Third and 23. This to the near side. That pass is caught by Harris, and Harris can't twist away okay. from Chris Moore. I'm changing it right now to any duration subscribers here. only. Too many bots, too many yeah, issues, did that. So if you want to comment, you got to subscribe. I apologize, but the bots are screwing up this way. channel big Why time right now. So I had to do it. Opportunity to third and 20 and not attempt a field goal. Chris Boswell. Here we go for the extra From point. Five yards out as the Steelers look for the first lead of the game. Ball is up and good. On its way and good. Here we go. And we have a penalty mark. Another down. flag on the play. Which is something of a theme early <laughs> here. They're going to talk the it over. Points. Yeah, they're going to talk it over with Mike Tomlin. Take the point. Just figure this out. <laughs> hey, they're not in a position where where before fourth down gets them close to a first down. Take the points and keep moving. Yeah, he needs. Some, I need some milk right now. Offside. Offside. Defense number 24. 24. Penalty is declined. declined. The field goal, field goal uh, is good. good. Timeout. Time Although, Charles, you wonder if this is that time of the year and the type of game. All right. They're going to commercial break, folks. I had to do subscribers only because of the bots were killing the chat section. I apologize. I generally never do this if you're ever on my channel. You can still listen, but if you want to comment, you got to subscribe to the bots is wrecking my channel right now. It's making everything horrible. So I had to do it. I apologize. I know a lot of people are not going to be uh, uh, happy about it, but I had no choice. So thank you so much. Apologize again. We will get back to actual play-by-play -play and commentary and have some fun here. I can't. The bots are just too much. I don't know what's up with them today. But... Who's going to win the game, folks? Let me know in the comment section. Do you think the Lions are going to win the game? Put L for Lions. Do you think that the Steelers are going to win the game? Let me know. I'm also going to make this a little bit easier. And I'm going to remove some of this stuff here. That should help out. But the bots hurt the stream. And I'm ending the poll right now. So, again, I truly do apologize for that. You know, if you want to subscribe just to comment and you want to unsubscribe if you're not going to care, you can always do that after. Um, you can always just unsubscribe after, but it's just for the bots. Let's see. See, now the chat's going good. Shit's getting crazy. And are you, how the hell did they get in here? The bots even got back, so the bots even subscribed. We need a... Why to hold them to three points? I'm a Dolphins fan, but I love Jared Goff. L, L, L. Thanks, man. L, 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 L. All right. A lot, a lot of Lions going in here. A lot of Lions fans. I just think that Chark may be it. Detroit. Okay. Well, Lions got to do something on this drive. Lions got to do something on this drive. And I'm confident they'll get something going when, when Tim Boyle's out of here. But 
Apologize for the crappy play-by-play so far. Hopefully that helped out with the bots. Then we get back to real, real work here. Now my computer's working great. Now, goddamn bots, man. I know what assignment I'm taking. I'm taking the Hawaii. <laughs> I'm going to have to do sub for one minute. <laughs> so it would be a one minute duration. That ain't bad. Sub and then you can come. Ball step, get to the, to the 20, 25, 30, 35, flag to the 40. Up to about the 40 yard line and there are penalty markers down. One minute subscribe because of the boss. Sorry again. Flag on the play. It's always going to be on special teams. I always wonder how do you how do you coach against that without diminishing the enthusiasm? It's very hard to do, and you're hoping they find the line for it, but it's really difficult to do. It's almost something you end up living with while you're trying to have those guys be, as you said, enthusiastic about their tasks of blocking people. Guys are just so fast. You think you got them lined there were up and then he's by both teams during the return. Personal foul, face mask, kicking team oh, number 26, team. holding, receiving so team number 57. Those penalties will offset at the spot of Detroit's foul. First down line. All right, let's go. So they will get it started from their own 20 yard line. Hey, back in June, the NFL can't do the commercial audio there because you'll get copywritten. This game is a played horrible. Yeah, from top to bottom. It, uh, even even here, even for with the bots for my, my commentary, the issues, hopefully we can do a reset right now, though. To the next generation of fans. Lines are at the 20-yard line, shotgun formation. Two wide receivers up and two down. Ball is snapped. To the right back down the middle. He'll take the hand two. off and he'll pick up about two before everything comes to a halt. With Tim Boyle, three seasons in Green Bay, his second here in Detroit. Second and eight. And this, this battle between he, himself and David Blau, I think it, it comes down to Boyle, kind of that quiet consistency. And the Shotgun formation wow. again. Big plays getting four wide receivers. Ball is snapped. Stands in the pocket. Throws it deep. Incomplete. Out of bounds. The nearest receiver was Amon Ross and Brown, and we have a flag on the play again. Holding. Offense number 68. Ten yard penalty. Second down. That's Taylor Decker, the left tackle. Taylor Decker is always doing a penalty. It's been tough going for the offensive linemen for both sides early in this one. Defensive line getting off, the, getting off on the snap, that get off. The second and 18. About, putting them in tough situations and they reach out and grab the claw. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that Charles, the, that a coach will let a few go here and yeah. there, but already they're starting to stack up to the shotgun formation. Third preseason game and the guys that we're talking about. Are your starters for Three the wide season. receivers, one back. At the 12, ball is snapped. Stand in the pocket, throws it underneath that again. A loss of nothing. He gets it back to the Third and 18, Tim Boyle sucks. About the 13 yard line is Jamar Jefferson. God. Really nice play on the corner there by Akella Witherspoon. Came over from Seattle and has really found his stride here in Pittsburgh. Third and 17. They liked him coming out of college at length. Good, fo good footwork. Willingness to tackle. We saw it all in evidence on that last play. So it's third and 17. Boyle needs the third. Shotgun, for three wide down. receivers. Ball is snapped. Give it to the running back down the middle. He's at the 20. To the 25. First down, 30. 35, 40. Tripped up and gets it out to about the 39-yard line. Trey Norwood got Jefferson with a big run. And, third and, long. and that's got to feel good for this offensive line. Look at how it was blocked up. And then look at what the gaps are. And nice vision by Jefferson. They gave him access to the secondary. And then his vision and footwork took him even deeper. See the cut there? 
And look at his head. His eyes are working. See him looking back where the tackler's coming from. Big pickup on third and 17. Gives Tim Boyle out. another set of time downs. Out. The chains are broken. We got to repair them. Oh, my good God, man. Well, if I heard correctly, the chains are broken. This is a cluster downstairs. F. Well, guys, one thing you don't want in a preseason game, injuries to a key player. Deontay Johnson had that big play, the one reception for 38 yards, and appeared to come up uh, hobbled afterwards. Hey, we got He's five more likes to 300. Right Let's get to 300 likes. Shoulder injury. Well, not something really apologize for the subscriber-only chat. The it's to remove the box. Chase Claypool's there. So George if you're not Pickens happy, been out wide I'm with you. The top of the show, really coming along fast. But Deontay Johnson is a big part of their passing game. Had two catches for 33 yards in the two previous. That was a games, really good run. Right, really good by the offensive line, opening it up the hole as well. George Pickens, Chase Claypool. It is fixed. Greg, First those guys and ten. The, the chain crew, they worked hard. They looked like a NASCAR pit stop group trying to get it done. And they need to get it done fast because you know what everyone at home is saying? What happened to the laser pointer, right? I mean, just do the lasers for this. Why, why do we have chains? I don't know about Tim Boyle <laughs> under center. <laughs> Two wide receivers, <laughs> bunch formation is, to the is, top. Is, 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 of one running back, ball is snapped, given to the back. Justin Jackson. Gain of one and a half, two. And across the line of scrimmage, close to the 42-yard line. Well, the Detroit Lions, we're not seeing DeAndre Swift nor Jamal Williams, but they provided the bulk of the running last year. And does that fit totally with what Dan Campbell, as their head coach, personifies and would want in a football team? They didn't remove them all, but it removed a lot of them, Ben Diesel. Shotgun formation for wide receivers. No five. Add and TJ to the mix. They blitz. Stand in the pocket. Thrown it. Complete. Near first down. First down. St. Brown, 90 catches, 912 yards receiving last season. And how about the way he finished the season? Thank you so much, Diana, Gatsuka, and Edward for subscribing to the channel. I mean, eight or more catches in the last six. Went over 100 yards twice down the stretch. His game just kept getting better and better. Time winds down on the first quarter. First quarter is complete. They are going to a commercial break. Again, I appreciate everybody being patient with this odd start to this game regarding technical issues as well as these terrible bots. I had to go to subscriber mode again. If you're new to the channel, hey, you got to subscribe for at least one minute. It removed the bots. It was horrible. So if you just got on here, it was it was so bad that no one could comment. So I had to do it to help it out. Hopefully it's not like this throughout the rest of the season, where whether it's my channel or anybody else who streams the game, it's all fun to be in the chat and just talk S and have a good time. So apologize. Hopefully that will help out. Who do you think, do you think the Lions can score in this drive? Do you think they get seven points, put seven? Do you think three, three? Do you think zero, zero? Put it in the comment section right now. You know what? I'm going to go seven. I'm going I'm to go in live that the Lions get seven here on this drive. I got seven. Do the Lions score on this drive? Let me see what you guys think on this one. Will Lions score on this drive? I say seven, but hell, I'm just one guy. So we'll see. We'll see. We got seven, seven, Lions W, three. Seven, three, still no zeros, two Patty Grimes, you, you crazy, man. Seven, seven, no eight, no zero yet. Okay, P-A-J with the zero. Dr. D, three, eight to go for two. Five points, Joseph, you're, <laughs> hey, man, I, want, I need to have what you're having right now. No score. All right. That's, they did say he got hurt, Bob, unfortunately. They did say he got hurt. The, no matter how this game turns out, we don't want injuries, and unfortunately we have one Steeler injury right now. That's not good. So hopefully none happen. Paul Johnson, thank you for the subscription. Brendan and Edward, shout out to you guys for subscribing to the channel. Truly appreciate it. Kennedy for quarterback two, I'm with you. 
Let's go. Mass is zero. Zach's a six. We miss miss the two or the extra point. Nope, zero. Prime and Daniel. This offensively, it's because you got Tim Boyle in there. Like he, he's terrible. I don't know what else to say. He's absolute terrible. Yeah, Taylor Decker doing the penalties, man. What the hell? Trying to escape and there we go. And goes down at about the 46 yard line, courtesy of Minka. That was Patrick. weird, man. CBS's audio was off. This is one where the coverage didn't have to last long. You see what Fitzpatrick on CBS the is having blitz. issues. And Holy hell. Sacked by guys up front can block. Boyle, he got taken All down. The extra black shirts coming in. The extra black shirts coming in. Who's got whom? CBS is Jack, bro. Second and 15. Loss of five, second and 15. I know it sounds weird, but holy snap. Almost intercepted. Third down. Incomplete. But it fell amongst a, a batch of Steelers. Carl Dunbar is a defensive line coach for Pittsburgh, and he coaches fundamentally. I know that it's CBS. It's not me, guys. The <laughs> There's get nothing I can do. I'm trying to affect the passing lane. For the second time this game, there's technical difficulties exactly from hell. I don't know what's it's preseason the for these guys. Third and 15. Shotgun. Four wide receivers. Stand in the pocket, throws it. Intercepted! Right to him! He's at the 40. 35 30. 25 to the 22 yard line. Interception. Tim Boyle is the worst quarterback in football. God dang it, man. It's almost like you thought Cameron Sutton was the receiver. Watch what he's looking at downfield as he throws the ball. CBS is, is butt cheeks, man. I'm telling you. Never sees number 20 in black sitting in the exact spot where the receiver's crossing behind him. Hey, Mason Rudolph he may be a Detroit Lion in a couple days. This is route, terrible. Cutting inside right there. Instead, he ends up with, Jeff, with uh, Cameron Sutton sitting right in the exact that spot. That was a terrible Takes throw. It away and goes the opposite of direction. Sutton with the interception and the return of 45 yards, and it sets the Steelers up just inside the Detroit 20-yard line. Versatility of Cameron Sutton, outside corner, works inside in the slot and passes. Yeah, he may be gone tomorrow. Comes up with a big play there. Okay, they're at the 19 Steelers. Shotgun formation, three wide receivers. Ball is snapped, giving the running back down the middle. A gain of... Nothing, a loss of two. Good job by Malcolm Rodrigo. They were true to their word about Najee Harris getting a little bit of work before the regular season. And truthfully, when Evan Washburn told us that Deontay Johnson had gone to the tent, I thought that might influence Mike Tomlin a little bit. Like, hey, I got one. Uh, okay, go get Najee. But you've known Coach Tom a long time, Greg. He doesn't have a coach scared, does he? No. <laughs> he doesn't worry about that. Hey, part. let's get to 350 like likes, 15 away. Being out there, Mike Tomlin doesn't care. No. He'll do it the way he wants Shotgun to do Shotgun formation. He can call the shots. Four wide receivers, That's one back. Trebix. Right. Ball is snapped. He's got pressure. Throws it. Complete for a gain of four. Third down. yard line. Stephen Sims, number 82. Really nice Trubisky play Elliott, was under pressure the there. Baltimore Ravens, right there on the coverage, and a good tackle to put him down on the spot. Something that Detroit really focused on in the offseason. Better tackling and giving up less yardage after the catch. Juju Elliott. Going into this week in the preseason. And we got our guy, in the NFL and Elliott. Yards after catch by receivers. Third and seven. Five wide receivers yards. in shotgun formation. Lions do not blitz. He throws it. Nice deflection by Jeff Okuda. That was a great play by Okuda. 
And he had that one diagnosed. Good job, Okuda. Right that would have screen, been a touchdown. Look at Okuda running at the hip of Piskin, Pickens. Holy he's hell, right he's there. a winner the right now. The troop when the ball arrives. A terrific play by the former number one selection out of Ohio State, Jeff Okuda. Yes. Damn good play. Here we go for the field goal. So once again, Boswell, this time from 34 yards out. And it's up and, and that kick is good. Up and that kick is good. And with 12.32 to play. And it is now 6-0 to zero field goal. Good job by Jeffrey Okuda. Bad job by Tim Boyle. I thought the Pittsburgh Steelers offense should be doing a little bit better. I'm curious to see how Kenny Pickett comes in now. Let me know in the comment section from Steelers fans, and even if you're not a Steelers fan, should Kenny Pickett be the starting quarterback? Why for yes and for no? Let me know in the comment section, should Kenny Pickett be the starting quarterback? Why for yes and N for no? I want to know this from a... Lions fan perspective here. I want to see Boyle. Let's go. Okuda was looking really, he looked really good there. No. There yes. Yes. No. So 50. Yes. Fence. No. It's 50 50. Wow. 50-50 there. Braxton, Sarah, and Paul Johnson, thank you for the subscription. Hey, I'll make Brandon you the backup quarterback. I'll make AG the backup quarterback right now because we got some issues there with Tim Boyle. He's, he just absolutely sucks. Five subscribers away from 23,500. We're five away, folks, from 23,500. Hit that subscribe button. Yeah, he is, Daniel. Yeah, he is. So that's that's interesting. Steelers fan base 50-50. I'm curious to see how he does in this game. If he can score some touchdowns here against the Lions defense. Boyle makes my blood boil too. Dang it, the NF how do these guys get it in here? You guys are running the practice. Let's go right hash, 11, right hash, 11, 11. We'll go tight, tight, a lot. They're just showing hard knocks. Have you guys liked hard knocks so far for the Lions? Let me know if you think it's been fun, if it's not been fun, if it sucked. I think it's been really cool. I'm, gl I'm glad it happened to, D to Dan Campbell and not Matt Patricia. We hate Matt Patricia. Courtesy of the hard knocks, Dan Campbell instituting that little... Not players only. <laughs> Action. But it just tells you how you're influenced as a player yourself, right? That's a Bill Parcells trick, but it, but then Campbell had his own up. twist on it. Caught at the five. From the Ten. Fifty. Reynolds. Reynolds. Reynolds goes nowhere. Why is he doing special teams line. anyways? He should be doing special teams. Mark Robinson leading the charge of that tackle. We get down to Evan. And guys, it really speaks to the whole staff that Dan Campbell has put together. It's littered with former players and guys that aren't that far off from being on this field. 83 years of combined First and 10. Let's see if the offense staff. can so move. The conversation that these coaches have leading into these weeks to come up with ideas like that Monday practice, it all comes from that experience in the locker room as a Boyle player. Boyle in the center. David Blau is in a quarterback. Blau is in. Ball step. And he throws to the side, and that is... Did he catch it for a gain of one? So they put Blau in already. Holy Jefferson. crap, bro. And I go back to the Dan Campbell took a big Evan S on Boyle. Coaches, Greg, and, and, and their Yet play enough. experience to see the throw to Jefferson. That's a pretty good throw. Holy Double shit. caught it. Nice job by Jefferson coming Thank down. Thank you for the it. subscription, but Gregory. Their ability to take those playing experiences, what they absorb from Blau coaches. Blau is from, the from quarterback the now. And now incorporated. Remember, Bill Parcells they gave a him a quarter. Shotgun and formation. So he the practice, but he was upset. 
Dan Campbell did it. Three wide receivers, touchdown. one tight end, and TJ. Running back practice. to Blau's right ball snap, given to the back down the middle. This is Jefferson. Jefferson to that looks like a horse collar, there. but they're going to give him one yard third further. Third and long as Levi Wallace comes up for the stop. Here's Blau in his fourth season out of Purdue. Boyle's done. I think he's done now. I remember watching him at Purdue. Destroyed Ohio State one night when Ohio State was in the top two or three in the country. Just, just, oh my god. It still ain't correct itself. Did the same thing to Missouri at one this point. This kid was pretty pretty capable of big games. And Greg, they told us that, that Boyle would play the first half while the second. This change here speaks to the urgency in which his coaching staff. Shotgun formation. Four wide receivers. Ball is snapped. He's standing there. He's rolling out. He's running. Ah, he's just short of the first down. And they may go for it. To about now, we'll still call it the 25, but it's going to be fourth down. Well, that was an undrafted free agent coming out of Purdue. I'm trying to get this change for you. Quarterback Quandry, his rookie year, and they made a trade for him. He was, he was with Cleveland, and they traded a draft pick. For They're an going for it. Agent. And since that time, Blau's become a part of the Like I said, they go for it on, the on fourth. They're going to go for it on fourth and one. Justin Jackson in the backfield. Ball, this ball is snapped. Down. Giving the he running back. And, and it's, he didn't get it. The Lions turned the ball over on down. Devin Bush led the charge for the tackle. And this ball will go over on downs. And for a team that prides itself on how good their offensive line is and what they're capable of, they should pick this up 100 times out of 100 times. They should get that push, but they didn't. And right there in the hole, there's Devin Bush with the grab at the ankles and right in the middle. The Lions turn it over on down. Miles Jack, who came up from Jacksonville and met him in the hole and dropped him. Good job by the Steelers winning that line of scrimmage that Detroit believes they should dominate with their offensive line. Yeah, a coach would like to think that if you need a yard, you can pick it up. And that's what they keep talking about. Go. Trubisky. Is he still the quarterback? Yep. All step. And get back to the line of scrimmage, second down. Down at about the 26, maybe even the 25 yard line. We didn't see the gifts that Evan Washburn described of George Pickens on display there because he's not an open field. It's not a ball where he's elevating over a defender. We'll see that come in, in, in the near future. I've been really impressed Second with down this and Detroit 10. defense in this game. Every time someone catches a football, there's a white shirt on the spot. Lions defense is play. looking better. No gain on the play. Second and 10. Ball is snapped to the running back. Chasing him down. Gain of four. Third down. And knocked out of bounds at about the 20. And how about these the Pittsburgh Steelers wide receivers, how the room has changed. It's not just Ben Roethlisberger, the quarterback. George Pickens coming in. Gunnar Osheski coming in from New England. Miles Boykin from Baltimore. Juju Smith-Schuster off to Kansas City. James Washington in Dallas. Hope he gets healthy soon. And Ray Ray McLeod now with San Francisco. Pickens is the jewel of the bunch, though. I expect Third and five. A man in his rookie year. Shotgun, three receivers. Ball is snapped. Flag thrown. Intercepted. Almost dropped. Close to the 10 yard line. But a flag. Incomplete. Pat Fryermuth, the intended receiver, and we have a penalty marker on the field. Looks like Alex Anzalone was involved in that play, the linebacker for Detroit. Help make it tough on the catch. Illegal formation. Illegal formation. Offense. Offense. No one was on the line of scrimmage on the left side of the formation. <laughs> that penalty's declined. It's fourth down. Second time. Yeah, today, they're going for the field goal. The call on Detroit. The first time was on Taylor Decker, I believe, left tackle. This time he said the defense left is still side pretty is alive. dang good. And everybody getting involved. What do you think is the first thing they'll practice at the next? I think session? that they will practice understanding how you have to be on the line of scrimmage. You're allowed to be back a little bit as an offensive tackle, but half of your body cannot be back <laughs> off the line of scrimmage and make it a tough angle for the pass rusher. Boswell off for the X 45 and 34 yards. Field, field goal. goals now from 38. 
and it's good. And that is right down the middle. And with eight minutes, 46 seconds to play here in the first. Going to commercial break and the Lions defense stiffen, holding to a field goal. Here we go. It looks like the Boyle era in Detroit's over, folks. To me, by pulling, he was supposed to do the whole half. They pulled him out basically after one quarter, after that interception. It looks like the Boyle era in Detroit could be over. Are you happy to see Tim Boyle be gone? Do you want to see him gone? If you want to see him gone, put Y in the comment section. No, if you like Tim Boyle, put N. I would suggest that it's only Packers fans and Bears fans and, and Vikings fans that would want him to stay, but I want him gone. And we got 31 likes away from 400 likes, 31 likes away. Let's get those likes up. Please, Boyles needs to go. Cue the growling sound. All those yeses. I'm salty, says no. Oh, man. Yeah, but he, the problem with this promising pass is he throws these intercepts. He has far more interceptions than, than touchdowns his whole career. What channel is the game on? It's his local. It's CBS. Mason Rudolph will. he? Mason Rudolph, who knows? He could be a Detroit Lion in a couple days. Be better than Tim Boyle. Holy God. I'm happy that this is like the only CBS that we got to deal with. Fox is way better. This has been technical difficulties on CBS. The audio issues on CBS. CBS has been a cluster. Holy smokes. Think of your teammate like that. And Eight minutes, too. 45 seconds till oh, the second half. Been. Second half, I will take Andrew a break. Himself, Mike Tomlin, then we'll come back. The Steelers. Look at the second half. Look, no one likes kicking field goals all the time. These two teams played in the regular season last year in a 16-16 tie. And it may be the last game of preseason, but he and Dan Campbell eager to win this ball game. Ball is up. Justin Jackson. Jackson. He's at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Flag on the play again. But there is a flag down back at the 15-yard line. Those are three good returns so far for Detroit. I know flags have gone down, but they've had good luck bringing the ball out in terms of bringing it and getting field position. Right now, Danny Smith, the field special teams coach of the Steelers, can't be happy by what he's seen. During the return, holding, receiving team number 49. Half the distance of the goal line, first down, Detroit. That penalty is on Chris Board. Meanwhile, Mike Tomlin, boy, what a run he has Man, had. Man, it's, it's been a rough <laughs> one on CBS today. It has been a rough company. one. It's pretty good names. I mean, the all-time winning coach there, Don Shula. If you ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe Marty button. Love to get to 23,600 being one of the all-time coaches. That was the goal. I mean, the problem is we are 92 away from that okay, shotgun that formation. Wow! My goodness. Five Marty wide receivers at the 12. Getting recognition as a possible member of the Hall of Fame. He deserves it. Ball snap. Throws it complete. Gain of seven. St. Brown. Good pass by David Blau. There is David Blau caught by Amon Ross St. Brown. Greg, I want to come back to something we talked about in the last series. And look at him zip that one through. Just gets it through the arms of the Pittsburgh defense. I think it's TJ Watt at the line of scrimmage. Tim Boyle was supposed to play the entire Second first three. half for Detroit at quarterback. They didn't like what they saw out there. I feel like Dan Blau Campbell under said, center. I don't care what we said. We're trying to decide who our number two All snap, give it to the back, down the middle. We'll clean hole to the 25-30. This is Justin Jackson. And Jackson Justin Jackson with a flag. You know God dang it. What do you th how do you think that bodes as we uh, have another flag? How do you think that bodes for the rest of the game? <laughs> What's going to happen at the quarterback position? Offense number 73. Jeez. Half the distance to the goal, second down. 
That penalty is on Jonah Jackson. I think what it bodes, Greg, is if David Blau's moving this team, oh, he's going to stay out there driving and solidify the position as the number two. Right here, Jackson, 73 in white. There's the hold on Devin Bush, number 55. Remember, Jonah Jackson went to the Pro Bowl last Penalties year. Penalties has been Again, awful in this game. Rutgers. How often do you get a Rutgers to Ohio State transfer? <laughs> and he finishes at Ohio State, goes into the I pros, got, goes got, to his first Pro Bowl last year. They like the physicality of Jonah Jackson up front. Second and 12. I do think with Blau, if he moves this team and keeps moving them, he'll stay out Shotgun. there and win the, win the position if indeed that happens. Three wide receivers. This is second and 12. Play clock down to three, down to two, and they get the snap off. Incomplete, third down. Behind his intended receiver, Josh Reynolds. Good coverage here by Micah Fitzpatrick. Zone out, what's going on, zone out? Appreciate you, new subscriber here. Sees it in front of him, and he sees it fast and gets up there. Watch 39 in black. Look at him. Boom. Bad pass by he's David Blau. Ball thrown behind the receiver, but if he does catch it, there's going to be a collision. King says, point. I'm subscribed. Shotgun. Four receivers. So third and 12. They've converted a couple of Oh, Ball is snapped. So Clean pocket, here. throws it. Caught line, first down the to the 27 the yard line. I'm on Ross St. Brown. So 11 more likes to 400. Smash that like button. Lions. Look at Blau. Clean pocket. Sees the play right in front of him. Puts it right on Amal, Amal Ross St. Brown. Will the Lions score on this drive? Seven year. for seven. Up a lengthy third three down. for three. That's Zero. Mark in, David Blau's favor. in the comment How section, do do put those downs, numbers in there. Down, Will they them. score? About the rookie season Amon Ross St. Brown had last year. Blau on the center. He's going to continue to ascend. Fumble the ball. He got it back. Throws it. Caught. Huge first down to the 50-yard line. Caught by Reynolds out of bound. Nice reaction by David Blau. And how about the poise of David Blau there? Fumbles the snap. Doesn't panic. Stays with it. Picks up the ball. Leland and reads. Viral Ghost just subscribed. Shout the out to you guys. You get ruffled. And you get out of sorts. Remember, he dropped the snap uh, in the game in Atlanta in the preseason and cost them a possible win. Well, he put that They're out at the 48 of the Steelers. Wow, under center. Nice Ball snapped, play action. Rolling out to his right. And he falls on the ground. Loss of four. At the 45 yard line. Delonte Scott putting the pressure on him on the far side of the field. And that fits perfectly for watch the right side because Delonte Scott. We have Scott issues at quarterback. He's a big time pass rusher at SMU. He feels the pressure of the back getting out. Now he says, I'm going for the quarterback. Gets up there because he thinks Blau's going to throw the football. Second and Blau 17. Has to pull it down and helps knock him to the turf. Shotgun. Into the Four receivers, Delonte two Scott up and two down. No back. 540 to play here in the first half. Second and Ball 17. Snap. Throws it incomplete. That pass is incomplete. Down Bad low pass. and into coverage. And it'll be third and 17. Boy, the playbook has to go pretty deep for all the third and longs that we've had so far in this game, and we haven't even reached halftime. And what I think we need to look at right now. God, our snap. quarterbacks suck after We're all. How the Detroit, uh, Doc McCoy, Ryan, thank you for subscribing, guys. Twice, where they've been back in the backfield trying to get an advantage. Are they Shotgun, the four receivers, yeah, one back. They are already. Look where the center is, and look where everyone else is. See if these officials let them get away with this one. Ball snapped. Standard no pocket fight. throws it yeah. deep. Is that intercepted? No, incomplete. Incomplete. At the 42-yard line. Punt. Terrell Edmonds with the diving attempt. Nice play on the football by Edmonds. Jeez. Been a starter since he was a first-round pick. Coming out of school. They didn't pick up his option one year, but he Over 400 well. likes. Shout out to you guys. Contract. Jeremy Booker. Back there with Minka Fitzpatrick. It's Patrick, the roving free safety. And we got Mountain Dave and zone. James subscribed. Big shout out to you guys. Oshesky. Ball and is up. High booming kick. And, and it goes out of bounds. 
for the touchback. 517 to play in the first. Holy crap. Well, the defense for the Steelers looked good. Defense for the Lions looking good. Lions offense with any quarterback besides Goff looks like a pile of butt cheeks. Cheeks. That's what they look like. Told you we needed a backup quarterback. Been saying it since the season was over last year. Holy hell. Who do you got winning the game now, folks? Steelers is 9-0. to zero. Steelers is 9-0. to zero. Do you got the Steelers now winning this game? Or do you got the Lions pulling out? out of their, their two points of contact, pulling out a dub. Let me know in the comments section. S for Steelers, L for Lions. I'm going to go ahead and put S. Our quarterbacks are not doing too good, so I'm going to put Steelers. I'm going to put Steelers up in that mug. I Well, first I was drinking some Oberon. And now I'm drinking some uh, uh, Gatorade. That was a pro quarterback. Cheeks cut both Boyle and Blau. Hugh Janus in the building with a great name. I hate Mitch. Let's see. Lions. And we got this young punk back in here again. I may have to change it to five minutes being a subscriber. Not over to the fat lady sings. That was a duck. It was a duck. It was definitely a duck. Steers will analyze three th stringers play. Defense is bad. Not the Lions. Drew Stanton for backup. Rodney Pete. I'll take Abraham Lincoln for backup right now. Got to take, take Honest Abe for backup quarterback right now, the way that things are playing out. Honest Abe. I think he can do a good job compared to what's going on. Five minutes, 17 seconds to play here in the first half. Mike Tomlin prowling the sideline as his offense tries to get something going before halftime. And he's keeping first his first line ten. guys out there, including Najee Harris, his running back. Five minutes, 17 seconds left in the half. I will take a key break at half. Mike Tomlin this is hard to, to sure watch. I'm telling you, sir, it is very hard to watch. They get into the regular season. Ruben, and thank Najee you for the subscription. All in preseason, and he's going, looks like maybe the entire first Shotgun half. Shotgun through receivers, one back down. to three first downs for this Pittsburgh offense so far. Trubisky. All snap, gives it back. Nope, play action. First down, a gain of 14. Over the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Let's go down to Evan Washburn. Well, guys, we know Deontay Johnson out of this game at the moment with a shoulder injury. Well, T.J. Watt came off the sideline after that previous series and was walking gingerly on that left leg headed basically That's right into the locker room with Dr. Jim Bradley. He's currently still in there now. Now, it's important, guys. Preseason, guys are going to come out for anything, so you don't want to... Uh, make too First much of it, ten. two starters, two key players, and now T.J. Watt in the locker room with what appeared to be a left leg. Fisky uh, under the center. Right, Evan, thank you. Flag on and the play. This game's not good. Two flags I'll start, down I'll the start offense number 22. 22. Five-yard penalty, first down. Harris with the early move. I'll take CBS. Audio Tech is back at QB. Ah, that's the winner right there. Do uh, you know he didn't even have his timing down yet? I need to get him some snaps. Okay, coach. All right. <laughs> He's a big First and 15 at the 28. Najee Harris, 381 touches last year. He's going to approach that number again this year. The way that they utilize him in this offense. Ball snap, play action, stand the pocket pressure, throws deep. Deep down the Incomplete. Incomplete. Good coverage. George Pickens tried to do the one-hander, but it didn't work. For George Pickens. It's well covered, too, because there's not much room for George Pickens coming down with it. Savion Smith, the corner out of Alabama. See, what you want to do is have that route run about five yards inside of the white, and then you fade to the sideline. To Second and 15. He was so close to the line, to the sideline, when the fade happened, there was no room to come down with it. So now it's second and 15. All snap. 
To run back, get back to the line of scrimmage. Good job by Derek Barnes. Defense is on fire. He is out for the remainder of this game with a knee injury. Obviously, caution is the priority in any game, especially the preseason. But TJ Watt out with that knee injury appeared to be TJ Watt hurt knee when he was making his way into the locker room. Okay, Evan, thank you. Yeah, hopefully he'll be okay for the opener against Cincinnati. But definitely time to put up the red light. <laughs> get get there. Give the NFL Defensive Player of the Year out of this. Oh, one. we'll take Rudolph off of what we got. Shotgun. Three receivers, one tight end. Ball is snapped. Plenty of time. Throws it underneath. And he's taken down. They're going to have to punt. Good job, defense. Derek Barnes on fire. Smith was the tackle. So back to back play, Savion Smith on the spot. And Savion Smith. The leap's going to get the oohs and ahs. But how about the play by Savion Smith, keeping him in front of him and making him resort to this type of play to try and get over the top and unsuccessfully. This has been a very quick to the ball Lions defense here in this first Smith half. wants to make this roster. Maurice Alexander. The punt is up. He's back at the 20 yard line. Out of bounds at about uh, 18. 244 to play. We'll take a Lions defense looking amazing right now. Way better than they have since preseason week one. Better than last week. It was better. But the Lions offense, David Blau and Tim Boyle is not it, folks. These guys suck. Raw Detroit, tell them. Make sure you subscribe to Raw Detroit in there. We've been talking about backup quarterbacks since freaking week 17. If if we have one of these guys as backup and Jared Goff goes down, it's over. Season's over with. Immediately. It's commercial break. You're not missing a play, folks. Don't worry. Uh, apologize again for these dang bots. They're on fire. The subscriber mode has reduced the bots. That is a good thing. He's trying to put something together now to kind of, you know, in golf. Wow, under score, center. Go to the Ball is snapped. Give it to the running back. Hey, good one there. A gain of 10. Pulls his way close to a first down near the 30 yard line. They're saying fumble. Looks like it. Steelers say they have the football. No, mind ball. The Lions. Come up with the ball. Alex Kemp, the referee, said, you need to ask me. Jackson with a first down. You know, the whole thing about the, the starters, it's got to be a tough decision for a coach. Are they game ready? or Two-minute warnings almost here. Lions got two time, or three timeouts. And it's all across the map when you look at the NFL. They're at the 29, shotgun, three receivers. Starters in the preseason. Ball is and snapped. Sharp and strong and each and every year. A gain of three. Your coaching and your philosophy. Justin That's the two-minute warning, the folks. Carry before we hit the two-minute warning. If I am, to be honest here, I think Jefferson has lost his seat. Tim Boyle has lost his seat. Jackson's already better. That's my opinion right here. Mike is the backup quarter bigger need than linebacker now. I'm, I would say linebacker is definitely a need because you, we need to have a guy in there. But they're both a need. I like you can get both in cuts. Say the Steelers cut Mason Rudolph, pick up Mason Rudolph. He's better than. He's better than David Blau and Tim Boyle. I don't care, man. I'm tired of these guys. They're not good. Would you sign Shea Patterson as a backup quarterback? I'll sign you, Dragon, as a backup quarterback. What receivers are in the game? I know Amon Ross St. Brown's in the game. I know Khalif Raymond's in the game. They're the only ones that's really been targeted. Linebacker, yeah, definitely is still need. I'm more worried about our cornerbacks. Jeff Okuda look pretty, is looking good. Shout out to Jeff Okuda. Not this year. Backup quarterback matters more more we're when we're a contender we just need to have somebody back there like you you can find anybody right now at a at a backup quarterback position that's better that's the problem i said kellen mond vikings may cut him i'll take him clark in the game too is hawkinson playing yes he is playing yep and he's still in the game 
Chark had a target. Okay. Bring him. Get rid of these dumb quarterbacks. I'm with you. Akuna's playing all right. The de- the whole defense is playing good. I I can't really give any negative to the defense right now. That's shocking. Defense is playing really damn good. They're, the whole defense right now is a winner. I am rooting for Jeff Akuda. Hope the kid makes it. I'm, ho- I'm rooting for him too. really am. You are wasting these reps for the offense by having Boyle and Blau out there. Yeah, and it's hard to judge all these other people when you got these garbage out there. He may suck zone out, but is he better suck or is he worse or better than what we got? If he's better, I take I take anyone better at this point. Side of your screen, here comes Watt, and there is T.J. Hawkinson with the hit on the left knee that took Watt down and out of this game, and then just a little bit later, Hawkinson in something of an apologetic mood. Yeah, TJ Watt's not much mood except the apology. Second and eight shotgun. That. Three receivers, one up, two down. It's in the Ball is snapped. To do it. It's not a dirty play. It's Incomplete. Play, but there's not a defender Drop. alive who likes By anyone Zilstra. diving in his legs. Yeah. Offensive coach just have it in there to tap down the pass rush. That pass in and out of the hands of Shane Zilstra. It'll be third and eight. Zane Zilstra's trying to make Ross. We yeah, ain't going to do it and drop it. I guarantee you, Hawkinson's like, look, man, you know I don't want to do that. But that's the play call. Third and no eight. What, you get 22 and a half sacks, <laughs> they're going to do everything legal to try and slow you down. Four receivers, one back. Shotgun. Steelers showing blitz. They, need the they do. Ball the is snapped. He throws it deep. Incomplete. Trinity Benson dropped it for the for a big play. And he also had help on the inside because that throw's got to go. Dropped by Trinity Benson, just like he's going to be dropping from this roster after today. You play the middle, just like you would be another punt in baseball. Go where the ball is, make a play on it. Make a Fitzpatrick. If he can make a few less tackles in the run game this year and a few more plays in the pass game, all is up. Defense is improved. Steven Sims takes it at the 12. He's at the 10. At the 7, he ran backwards. Good pursuit by the Detroit Lions. We're gonna take a break. Back in third. A lot of commercials. Trinity Benson, you're done. That was it. You can't be doing that, Trinity Benson. He is no longer. That was it, man. That was that was a catch he had to have. He won't be making the team. That's my predict. Oh, I've been predicting that for a while, but he ain't making the team now. What happened to T.J. Watt? He hurt his knee. I don't know the severity of it, but because it is preseason. Yeah, Goff's not playing. He has he didn't play in this game. We don't have Jared Goff in this game. So Mitch Trubisky is going to stay out there and apparently finish out this first half on his own. Minute 34 to play, each team with three timeouts remaining. Now G. Harris is also first in ten. At the eight. the first half, the Steelers' first line offensive uh, unit. All snap. Trubisky throws it complete. Throws over the middle, and that's complete to Harris. And and about seven. John Kaminsky with the tackle. And a flag on the play. This is not the clean operation every coach preaches in the final preseason game. It's what they want, they're not getting it. Illy use the hands in the face. Defense number two. Five yard penalty, automatic first down. Penalty is on Austin Bryant. With the number change where you this can wear pretty much anything now, like in college here, football, you like you hear two, when you hear two, yeah. you're thinking defensive back. It's a defensive lineman. I actually don't mind it. I, got, I, came, I cut my teeth on college Dude. football, so I got used Dude. to it. And I thought it was okay. What I always say about college football is I'm leaving the group, guys, because I can't have this while I'm playing. You know, I'm not crazy about that. But. First and 10. Yeah, it does throw you Shotgun at the 13. Line up a defensive end Three receivers. Ball snaps. Rosen caught in the middle. A gain of nine. 
out to the 23 and close to another first down. It's the 23. Now Mitchell Trubisky gets a chance to run the two-minute drill. Hit the like button, half. folks. Let's get to 450 to likes. This is, this we got be a better opportunity. 950 in the building. A Smash that like button. Shotgun. Lions blitz. Throws it deep. Incomplete. Yeah, it's got to be holding. On that's a that's going to be holding or pass interference. Incomplete. Not a flag. A flag. The color of the day. Yellow. <laughs> it's not the terrible towel. It's a penalty flag. That's Pass Savion interference. Smith. Defense number 19. First down of a spot of a foul. Smith is the second-year cornerback out of Alabama. Remember, you get five yards to have your hands on the receiver. Okay, we're past five now. Hands are still there, and the ball's in the air. Easy call for the officials and the, and the correct one. Two first downs on this series by the Steelers, both by penalty. Shotgun We're at the 36. Going. Ball is snapped. Throws it caught. Throws. That's complete. To the 44-yard line. 45-yard line. That's Pat Fryermuth. And there is a timeout now with 52 seconds to play. Uh, to me, it seems outs. to me the most intriguing question is what's going to happen at the quarterback position on both sides of the ball First and two. in the second half. Agreed, and I do believe for Pittsburgh it's pretty cut and dried. We'll see Kenny Pickett, and I believe we'll see Mason Rudolph. Yeah, we're not going to do With politics Detroit, in here, guys. That's like we the only Tim thing Boyle I first half, don't want. Blau second half. But I do believe that Dan Campbell is telling his team every game counts for us. We have to learn how to win, and we have to find out who's going to seize the reins. It wasn't going well for Boyle. He threw Blau out there to see if he could change the momentum. We will see Boyle in the second half as well, I believe. Yeah, Dan Campbell made it very clear to his team that winning feels good when they won that game against Indianapolis in the preseason, and he doesn't care how you get there. No, they don't have enough of that built up in them where preseason not winning is not a big deal to them. They've second to down. Win again, and that's what Dan Campbell is preaching to his team. Shotgun three your receivers. Lions showing blitz. Flag. Another penalty. This pass is in complete overflow. This, this game Najee sucks for flags. Holding. Offense number 76. 10 yard penalty. Second down. Chakuma Okorafor, the right tackle. Guilty again coming up. The Verizon halftime report. Highlights of the Jets and the Giants as well as Kevin Washburn's interview with T.J. Watt. Coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm excited to see Evan's interview with TJ. I hope Evan kept his head on a swivel. Second and 12. Another Watt brother might, <laughs> might come into the fray. Derek is in a Pittsburgh uniform, the starting fullback. Well, the fact that Trubisky has played this entire first half, does that tell you Shotgun. week one? I feel like they are receivers. Mr. Trubisky being the starter week one. And let's face it, it's a little bit of a safer pick, too, because you can always go to pick it later. Road caught complete to the 40-yard line. Harder to bench your number one pick. That pass is Clock still rolling. Here we go! Max Q, thank you for the subscription. Ball is snapped. Ryan's rush four, throws it deep. Caught. Field goal range to George Pickens. Clock stops, 22 seconds. Now this is, a fa this is where you build up a trust factor as a rookie receiver with your quarterback early. That he trusts that downfield you're going to win no matter what type of coverage you have. He puts it up there, lets Pickens make the adjustment, and he does come down with the football. Not too many rookie receivers are afforded that trust by quarterbacks this early. 22-yard pickup, 22 10. seconds on the clock for the first half. At the Lions 38, shotgun. Four receivers. Ball is snapped. Throws it deep, caught. First down to the Lions six. They're calling the clock it. They take a timeout. And we have a timeout that stops the clock with 15 seconds to play. Nice pitch and catch. It really was. And how about the evolution of the athleticism of the tight end? Because in the old days, you know where that ball would be? To the front side of Pat Fryer move. But because he sees number 55, Derek Barnes, the linebacker for Detroit, Trubisky does, he throws it on the backside, understanding he has a tight end athletic enough that can make that adjustment and make that play. 
Beautiful, beautiful, obs beautiful observation by First Trubisky. First goal at the Trust six. again, and Fryer Muth, tremendous athlete making the play. 60 catches last year for these Steelers. Trubisky kind of finding himself this the last part defense of the first time. was playing good this until this draw. This is indeed the end of the, the game for Trubisky. He can stick this one in the end zone. What a taste that would leave. Shotgun. Leave on the coaching staff. Four receivers. Ball snapped. Throws it. Touchdown easy. Xavier Smith got exposed on that one. Totally understanding that Mike Tomlin would say, Charles Davis, you worry about broadcasting, I'll take care of the roster. <laughs> I do believe you're walking, looking at your opening day starter right there for the Pittsburgh Steelers and Mitchell Trubisky. I think that cemented it right there, if there was any doubt going in. Seven straight completions by Trubisky. All is up and good for the extra 15 point. 19, 160 yards, and a touchdown in his first half of work. 14 seconds left in the half. I will be taking a break. We'll come after the There's break. A big time and we'll on this drive do the by second Trubisky, half. And this one absolutely perfect. And give Steven Sims credit for winning his route at the line of scrimmage, getting inside of the defender, and just saying, hey, quarterback, you put it in the spot. I've got it. But Sims won the route at the line of scrimmage, faked outside, came inside, and on that slant, Trubisky put it right on the eight and the two. So if you are correct about Mitch Trubisky, then in the second half, we'll see a battle between Kenny Pickett and Mason Rudolph for the backup slot. Yeah, and right now, the leader in the clubhouse is Kenny Pickett at number two. I think it'd take a lot for Mason Rudolph to unseat him at this point as the number two guy. Pickett's picked up the offense so quickly. The extra year if you're not subscribed, hit, hit that subscribe button, really folks. Like what they have there, but I do think that Trubisky 14 away in from 23,550. Ball is up. They're going to take it back to 25. They'll the probably just take a knee. And for most of the first half, the coverage very sticky by the Detroit Lions, but I really thought that you pointed something out very well, Greg. The throws that Trubisky made on that drive were really sharp Man, and Paul. strong. And even with good coverage. Tim Boyle's in at quarterback. Come on. Not even. I don't want to see him anymore, I mean, you know, man. Part of the, the preparation process, but you sometimes wonder if it's fair. And even a knee. He's taking a knee, folks. They don't have even the number one line in front of him. Everyone understands it's not fair. Can you accept that? All right, that? folks. It and is halftime. I'm going to take a break real quick. We'll come back for the second half. We'll see what will happen. Maybe we'll actually move the football. If not, at least there's no injuries to our starters. See you in a couple.
welcome to the second half of the Detroit Lions versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is an interesting game. If you're, if you're a Steelers fan, you're feeling pretty good. Your offense and defense looking all right, doing, not doing too bad at all. And now you got your rookie, Kenny Pickett, going to come in there. He's probably going to open it up a little bit more. If you're the Detroit Lions, your defense a little bit better. But the offense with Tim Boyle and David Blau, pile of cheeks. And it ain't looking too good. That's what we got going on right now. So we'll see how this thing plays out. We'll see how it plays out right now. And we'll see. Are they going back to it? The kickoff should be going to the Steelers. They should have the ball first in this game, so the Steelers will get to... Davis, Greg Gumbel, Evan Washburn is with us as well. Get in there. Uh, a couple of noteworthy no things problem, in that Gumbel. first half, not the least of which, a couple of injuries which took some key Pittsburgh Steelers out of the game. T.J. Watt with a knee injury. Deontay Johnson also left the field and did not return, but there is no question that the big story of this first half was the play of Mitch Trubisky, and in this day of the quarterback battle, hey, take a look at the highlights, and our highlight is the first half highlight for... Can't do this little jingle there. The jingle will get you in trouble. It will. That's how it works. So, let me see if I can get the stuff back on for you. I'm not sure if it's going to work. It should. And then you can get the information for what's going on in the rest of the NFL. Oh, man. I got a migraine. I had to take some migraine pills, folks. I got an absolute migraine. I've had it before the game started. Hopefully, this bad boy can get a little bit better because uh, that sucks. It absolutely does. Let me see. Put this up. Now you guys got your ticker back here. Get this thing going again. You think we might score a point? I hope we score we score a point. Nine drinks, we spot on, man. Shout shout out to him. Nine drinks is, is on fire, folks. Definitely shout out to Nine Drinks in the building. Doing his thing. Absolutely doing his thing. What's up? Make sure you subscribe to Spirit of Detroit Podcast. My friend AG right now, he's actually overseas in the Middle East serving his country in the Army. So if you like some Detroit Lions content, it's a little bit different from mine, subscribe to Spirit of Detroit Podcast. He does a lot of player breakdowns. He loves the draft. I love the draft, too. He goes really into minute details of draft picks. I go over them, but probably not as deep as him. He goes, he goes all deep. Lions should be a playoff team this year. Just all we got to do is hope for that and see, it's not working. This thing, I'm having issues. I had to cut. I had to take it off. Sorry, guys. I had to take it off. It, the stream is not good when that thing was working. So now you get a better stream. But, yeah, go subscribe to his channel. You can throw your channel information, too, in the comment section, AG. Are you watching the game over there? Hopefully you are. Hopefully you can watch the game and get, get some breakdown. We got, what, 53 subscribers away from 23,600. Damn, that's close. So if you ain't subscribed, get it done. Um, if you just got on this channel, you will, hear the, you will hear the audio of the game. And, yeah, he is a friend. Uh, you'll hear the audio of the game. No commercials, none of that stuff. Yeah, it's my friend, yeah. he's. I was in the Army, too. I was in the Army for eight years. I got out. Um, in 2009 was my last day. I went to Iraq 2008. But, uh, yeah, I was a sergeant in the Army. He is a specialist. I wish I could have served with him and been his team leader. That would have been epic. But, uh, unfortunately, we joined the service at a different time. So, but I always, always shout him out. Anyone that serves their country, huge shout out to you guys. If there's service members in the chat or veterans, Family of veterans or service members, I want to thank you for their service, your service. Really appreciate you. Without you guys, we don't have what we got. We don't have the ability to do this type of stuff. So thank you so much, and God bless you. It has nothing to do with politics. Don't do politics on here. You know, when you wear that uniform, I don't give it politics out the window. My MOS was 19 kilo and 11 Bravo. I had two of them. I first started as Abrams Tank Driver. Uh, and then I became a gunner, 
and actually a TC for like a week. And then I, my MOS got switched when we were going to Iraq. We had to do convoy security, and it resulted in us having to go to 11 Bravo, so infantry school. So I went to became an infantryman and then did convoys in Iraq in an ASV and Hummers or Humvees. I was in ASV. The rest were in Humvees. Looks like the second half is about to begin here soon. Yep, 19K and 11B. I was a grunt, grunt in and grunt out. I had the opportunity to actually not be a grunt, but I just wanted to be a grunt, man. I guess that's why my back is jacked up. And Cameron Sutton takes uh. Grow your, grow your own and boycott dispensaries. I do the vape. Here we go, that kick off. The first half. Steals oh, get the ball rolling. back. And nicely divided at six apiece. Anthony McFarland. I'm really excited to see Kenny Pickett here, folks. This one out of the end zone. Let's go down to Evan. Well, Greg, I spoke to Mike Tomlin and addressed the injuries to T.J. Watt and Deontay Johnson, the knee and the shoulder, respectively. And, guys, good news here. Mike Tomlin said, look, if this is a regular season game, we might see those guys back in this game. So there's no long-term concern at the moment for either player. As for Dan Campbell and the quarterback situation, he said, yeah, we realized we changed it up on our plan. The plan in the second half is for both to play. Tim Boyle, obviously, with Kenny Pickett after is in at quarterback. But they're both Let's see this young man play. That number two job here He's under center. Right, two wide, yeah, three wide receivers. Evan. One running back. Wow, did not come when he came in. He Ball didn't snap. Totally lock he came running back down the middle, taking down, down loss of job. one. Meanwhile, here's Kenny Pickett in at quarterback for Good the Pittsburgh job. Steelers. And Pickett, the 20th overall pick in the draft, and. Second down right and 11. Five, University of Pittsburgh. And he is a tremendous example of let things develop, let things play out. Meaning Kenny Pickett's career. Shotgun formation, three receivers, two up top, one running back to Kenny Pickett's left. Ball snap, play action, throws it complete. First down to the 38-yard line. Flag on the play. And we have a flag. Of course a flag. There is no foul on the play. The result of the play is a first down. So you know the question constantly as you take a look at this. No flag. Play, the they just wanted to throw it. Is not necessarily can he play because a lot of them can yeah. play in college. It's can he play at this level. That is always the question. And for the Pittsburgh Steelers fans and for the organization, ten. it was can he play right now. We, you know, the does he give us Steelers our best 38, option, ball is snapped, gives it to the running back. Right the no gag, gain of one yard. Warren and not much there. Second down. I will say this, Greg. I think if Mitchell Trubisky had not been sharp in the preseason, they would have had no hesitancy if Kenny Pickett played the way that he has of him being the number one quarterback. But Trubisky has given them the option, and he's given them the luxury of bringing him on just a little bit slower. And that's okay with them. And they'll Detroit see how things turn everybody. out starting just in Cincinnati. Billy Goat. Just I believe. And I do think Trubisky will Shotgun be Shotgun formation that running back right Matt behind Pickett. Ball is snapped in. Give it to a wide receiver on the end around. This is Steven Sims. A gain of two and or three. Sims wrestled down no just across the 40-yard line at about the 41, maybe the 42-yard line. It'll be third down. And that's a pass completion for Kenny Pickett. Six. <laughs> you pitch it forward like that. Goes down as an attempted pass and a completion. The yardage wasn't great, but the completion percentage continues to skyrocket and you have those in your repertoire. <laughs> Anywhere you can get them. Quarterbacks will never turn those down for pass and pass attempts. Third and six. Four receivers, shotgun formation, running back, two pickets, right. Lions, four-man front, ball is snapped. Rolls out, he throws deep, incomplete. Flag on the play. It could be a hold. Another flag there. You know, you talk about those stats. My favorite for the quarterback is a little short pass, and then the guy takes it 90. Holding through the ball. Offense number 53. That penalty is declined. Fourth down. That penalty is on Kendrick Green. 
That's Randy Feekner, the former offensive coordinator here in Pittsburgh, told me a couple of years ago. Well, Lions defense has done pretty good. Short. Given the points you see, you'd think they suck. They had one bad drive. So Maurice Alexander is back at his own 10 yard line. They're punting from the Lions. Enter the second half looking for some kind of a spark. Be interested, interesting to see who comes out to start a quarterback for Detroit. Like the Dan Campbell told the ball, ball is up. up. Them would play. High, short punt. Fair catch at the 15 yard line. Fair catch made at the 15 yard line. Tim Boyle is coming out for the Lions at the quarterback position. So expect a turnover, folks. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, my God. How Rodriguez looking. The whole defense looking good, Dale. In all honesty. Uh, some bad play made by Xavier Smith. He had a bad drive. He got beat on a whole drive. Other than that, linebackers look pretty good. Army of One, thank you for the service. Well, thank you, Granzier, and thank you, everybody in the chat. If I missed it, I apologize. I'm looking at the screen. I see. I really do appreciate it, and, I, again, I appreciate all service members, any veteran out there. Uh, I mean, you guys are the heroes. We got 666 in the building. We got to at least change that number. There we go, 673. I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't need I don't need that on are we serious? Okay, let's let's get this thing squared away. Looks like this is screwing up again. Let me get the game cast up for you guys. It has been a jack of all suck. Oh, that's not it. Let me get this one. There we go. Got it up for you guys. Mitch looked good. Yeah, he did. Boyle. No way. You can't put Boyle better than anybody on there. What happened to two dimes? Boyles? Alexander with no return. I haven't seen Kennedy out there. No special teams. Yeah, they're playing pr primarily the starters, at least offense. You should join streams with Dion. I talk to Dion a lot. Do you still have migraine? Yeah, I do. Uh, thank you, Mike. Sargasm. God dang, what a hell of a name that is. That may be the most cleverest name of all. Boyle back in the game. CSM, Kurt Steele, too. Yeah, Curtis Steele, yeah. He served his country. He was an E7. Why don't we put... Yeah, we're not going to do politics in here, guys. I don't like politics. We got to deal with that garbage every day. I think we can get away for it for at least three, four hours. Touchdown, Timmy. What are the, the other team? Let's see. Be fun to double up streams. Uh, looks like Hard Knocks out there. Oof. Here we go. Yeah. Hard Knocks is going to get some lovely words from the coaches in this one. Required to be worn by offensive and defensive linemen, linebackers, and tight ends during all preseason practices up until the second Boyle is the quarterback game. under center. Got me in for applause for that. Ball Everything snap, gives to the running out. back. He gains the 25 to, to the 29. Jackson. And Jackson works his way out. Close Jackson the is down, the running the back, and I like seeing him out there. Now there's a follow-up on Edwin Washburn's report Second about one. T.J. Watt and Deontay Johnson, but it doesn't appear that either one will miss Let's get time to 500 likes. No we breaks, are right? no 30. Rap, no ice. On TJ Watt's legs, so that's 27 a good, away. good deal. But yeah, the, the second one. Straight, though. Oil uh -huh. under center. I'm with him on the invisible line. I gotta work on that myself. Play action, I'm stand in the pocket, he throws it underneath there. 42 to the 30, 35, 40, to the 45, 50. He jumps and hurdles. Jackson. Finally down. That's complete to Jackson. Into Pittsburgh territory. He's gonna be marked down at about the 44 yard line. Jackson needs to make this team. Go a long way. <laughs> A quarterback's best friend. <laughs> but it was a good decision by Tim Boyle because he was looking downfield. He wanted something on the deeper levels. Didn't have it and not afraid to take the chance. Injury down. to a and Pittsburgh Jackson Steelers number a 24 more. is injured. Demonte like Casey being looked at on the ground as we take a break. Injury to Pittsburgh Steelers there. Looks like it was to his wrist. That's where he was at. Hopefully, it's not serious. Has Alexander returned any kicks? I don't think so. No, I've not. I've seen Craig Reynolds and Khalif Raymond. Jackson is, he's got to be up in there. He's got to replace Jamar Jefferson. Come on. 
He's way better. Knew he was a good on. He knew he was good on the Chargers. Yeah, he's looked good with the line. Every time he's touched the ball, he's looked good. Hey, we got 17 away from 500 likes. Hell, I can't believe that on a preseason game. And we are 48 subscribers away from 23,600. Smash that subscribe button. I'm trying to beat the Dolphins channel on Chat Sports. It's a little, it's a little wager we got backstage. And that's the next channel I got to jump over. And then I got the Eagles channel at 30,000, but I'm looking for Harrison Graham, the Chicago Bears channel. That's my next my next target. But I got to jump the Dolphins and the Eagles. Dolphins is manageable. I don't know if I can get to the Eagles this year. So if you ain't subscribed, make sure you do so. Nine Drake says, I had, Mike, I had my hernia surgery Monday. Wish I could share my pain relievers with you. Oh, man. Sorry about the surgery. Thank you, Sahara. Uh, Sarah R- Rivera, I try to be. Try to be entertaining. That's what it's all about. Having a good time, even when your team is the Lions. If you enjoy drinking battery acid, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we took all things Detroit Lions news and rumors. But sometimes being a Lions fan, you can just melt away. Also, take that like button with you and let that bat boy dissolve. Let's get into this stream and continue it on. Wow. This commercial is about to end. Here we go. Can we run our way into Welcome some points? Welcome back to Pittsburgh, and another Steeler has walked off in some duress. That is DeMonte Casey, sixth year back out of San Diego State on this play. Thank you, Fred. Trying to make the tackle on Justin Jackson. Watch his left hand as it comes down. Right hand clean, left hand underneath. And it looks like that's where he's grabbing. First and left 10 wrist. for the Lions. 11.46 okay. on the clock. A third. Player. And Royal under center the at the and Steelers 44-yard line. As a defensive back. This is only the fourth play. In All Pittsburgh is snapped. Territory. Play Detroit action. Offense. Plenty of time. Stands in the pocket. Yeah. Throws it. Almost intercepted again. Way high. Going up after it was Trinity Benson. Felt like he was a half count late on the bri- on, on the throw. He's trying right. to throw it to Lake Michigan. And the ball's got to be gone. Watch Benson. Right? Boom. Go ahead and let it loose. Because Benson's going to make that turn. He's a little about half count late and high with it. And now that'll allow you guys in the black shirts to rally. James we got shotgun formation. Ball. Four wide receivers. Incomplete second and ten. Ball is snapped. Given to Jackson in the middle. Gain of three. Justin Jackson, the former L.A. Charger, four years with the Chargers, his first season here in Detroit, out of Northwestern I have University. a, a June, I actually have a deep break. Third and seven, I got a red deep break. I like to ride that more. If you're going to win a quarterback go. job, and meaning the backup job for Detroit, Shotgun. converting these third downs goes a long way. Towards influence and the coaches to give you that job. Three receivers. Offsides. Ball is snapped. He throws it deep. And that's going to be pass interference first down. That's pass play by James Pierre. Understanding the flags had already flown. It was a free play. And if you let him go, that could turn into a big one. Go ahead and go ahead and tackle Here him as go. well. Penalty's already been Thank established. you for the subscription. <laughs> two fouls on the play. <laughs> Both Yoda, by the defense. Woodson. Offside. Offside. Number 46 is declined. declined. Pass interference. Fair Number 42 is accepted and placed at the spot of the foul. First down line. That's right, Ishmael. James Pierre. <laughs> it's it's tough being a Lions fan, man. <laughs> it's rough. That could turn into something really big. Go ahead and take the interference penalty. Make them continue to snap. Hey, the ball. over 500 likes in the building. You guys are Three epic. Boyle under center. Detroit at the 26. At the Three receivers. Jackson is the running back. Hand to Jackson. Nice Justin run. Jackson a gain of Jackson. eight. With a little running room up the middle inside the 20 to about the 17 and a half yard line. Justin Jackson that was made a good the team. Job by folks. the Detroit offensive line, especially the left side. Watch how they get everyone moving and allow Justin Jackson to make the cutback. Everybody moving this way. Now the cutback happens here. He's able to read everyone moving in zone blocking. Second everyone down find the gap, find, that, find him person, move him in that direction. Let the Royal under the center. 
at the 18, ball snap, and he throws it with knockdown. Justice Boyle released it. So the rookie out of Texas A&M to Marvin Leal. So these Steelers, I talk about Carl Dunbar, the defensive line coach. Boy, he does a good job coaching them, Greg, because every time they make a pass rush, if they're not near the quarterback and that ball's in the air, do you see those hands that are up? How many times have they affected passes already in this game? Shotgun formation. Five this receivers. First red zone trip Steelers showing blitz. They back yard. off. Throws it. Knocked down again. Tim Boyle. God, he sucks. To Marvin They're, they're certainly listening oh. to what you're putting out there. Look at that. Look at that. Again, Just another hand gets him. into the passing lane and bats it away. I know we had Hayward had two himself in the first half. Fourth and two. What they are they going to do? Two. Field goal attempt. Here we go. Thirty-six yarder. And it's good. And the Lions are on finally hit the scoreboard with 10-0-1 to play in the third. Jeez, Boyle sucks, man. Come on. All I can do is I'll do a Hudulkin for that one. Hudulkin! That's really it. It's just a field goal. But they moved the ball a little bit. That ain't too bad. We'd over, we hit over 500 likes. That's nice. At least you get a donut off the board. That is true, Mike. Do you get any help coming up with your hilarious introductions? No, I don't. I just come up with them myself. I just completely just just comes to my mind. I think of something really bad, a bad situation, and I throw that in there. The juice that runs off hot garbage boil. DC's energy is 10,000 times better than Patricia. Yes, it is. Stop passing by. Only took Lions three quarters to get a score. Thank you. I just don't understand how Lions didn't figure out both of these quarterbacks suck last year. 28-10 final dumpster juice. Should have went for it. Boyle is great if we'd had receivers. I, I disagree. Mike, do you think that we move on from both quarterbacks? I would hope so, Matt, but probably not. You know, this is just how they're going to be. I would, but doesn't mean they're going to do it. Blau, will you – I still think Boyle gets the job. Just be, for whatever reason, he's, like, absolutely loved by our coaching staff. He is. If you think it's a smart and sound idea to go parasailing without having a parasail and just drag your body across the water with a super fast boat, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So we took all things Detroit Lions news and rumors. Sometimes being a Lions fan, you get dragged across and beat up. Also, take that like button with you and let the bad boy drown. Let's get into today's Lion stream. I just make that stuff up. Go for Mason after the game, potentially. Boy, Boyle should be stoned. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. That's a, bad, that's a bad one. I love BH, but... If I'm him and DC, I'm cutting both. Interact with Mike or Mike stream Q and A. Yeah, try to interact when I can. He's the better athlete. Still rooting for Blau on another pickup, though. Yeah, play by play online thread. Who's number nine? That is Jameson Williams. A donut off the board. When you got a praise, not getting blown out with a zero. <laughs> that ain't I good, thought it was folks. a no-squad scrimmage at first. Those are two teams, both wearing gold jerseys. Ball is up. Picky. I am, aren't I? Take like, it back you know, at the 6, 10, 15, 20, <laughs> 25. He's at the 30. From good yardage up the sideline, gets it close to the 30-yard line. Pickett will start at the 30. Here comes Kenny Pickett again. You know, we talked about how excited Aiden Hutchinson is to be playing in Detroit. Yeah. I thought our conversation with this young man. And here's the beauty of it. Aiden Hudson went to where he wanted to go. Post-game right video will be about 15 minutes Craig after the Pickett game's over matriculated on my from channel. In honor of Len Post-game Dawson. show will be on LNU. We got Anthony Mark. Here the stadium. We got and Anthony. Practice facility All and snap. The stadium. Screen so pass. Here. Setting up the screen. This and is McFarland. And McFarland to about the 38-yard line. 
He is brought second down there. Second to be second down. But you know, I talk about Hutchinson. He second wanted to go to Detroit. Got Detroit. his wish at the number two pick when Jacksonville took Trayvon Walker. Kenny Pickett was obviously the pick. No pun intended. I gave him a second three. Because he was Pickett the first under center. Taken. All his snap. Pickett to the running back. That told them how they felt first about down. Gain of four. Not a consolation prize. He was the guy they wanted. Yep. And were able to get him at 20 when no one else took a quarterback ahead of them. McFarland picks up the first down, by the way. We saw that fall and then walking off the field. Demonte Casey, he is out for the remainder of this game with that wrist injury. And again, I'm sure every, obviously everyone hopeful that he'll be okay for the season opener September 11 in Cincinnati. Benny Snell is now in at the running back position. Shotgun formation, four receivers. For Ball is snapped. He throws it complete a slant, got his to the 49. The midfield is Miles Boykin, the fourth-year receiver out of Notre Dame. Second down and three. For just his third NFL game, Greg, does this young man not look comfortable to you? I mean, he looks very comfortable out there. I'm not saying he's got it all down, but you don't see those herky-jerky movements, right? You don't see the extra emotion coming out of him. Very comfortable in his drop. Will the Steelers score in this drive? Why for yes and for no? Will they score? First down. Here's to the running back. To the 43 of Detroit. Inside the 45-yard line is Benny Snell. Let me know in the comment section right now. Will they score? Let's go down to Evans. Greg Danks here with Cam Hayward, who's entering on this drive. I'm going to say yes. NFL. When Steelers I say score. that, what comes to mind? I feel like you're trying to date me. Uh, you're trying to make me old. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I've seen a lot of football and looking forward to some more. When you look at this defense and the work you guys have put in over the course Pitched of training again. camp with what you have coming back, what you brought in, what do you um, like about the group? Five, I, I like down. the experience. Um, I like how we brought in a guy like Miles Jack who can play downhill. Uh, some new corners that are excited to play with. And, um, you know, up front, I think we have a really good squad. What's it been like to witness this quarterback competition? Now tell me how, what they're going to get, a I mean, 3.7 you know, or 0. Know, we've had 7 back there this whole three, time. 3, 7, and, or 0. You know, we've never had a question there. Um, but, you know, the crazy thing is they've all competed very well. Uh, Mason, Mitch, uh, Kenny, you know, each They're one has done really here. well here we during go. camp. And, under center. You know, not made it easy at on the others. 40. Lastly, uh, your brother's on his team, is Connor? Yeah, ball snap, play know. action, <laughs> plenty of time, he throws deep. Finally got to play with them. Yeah, Caught. Walk us through that. First down oh. at the 11. Oh, you're good luck. This is good luck for you guys. Yeah, uh, we finally got to play against each other in practice. It brought me back to those days of just, you know, roughhousing in the house. And then at the end, he just tried to get a little shove like he was doing something. But, uh, you know, they waited the entire camp for me for, for me to actually get a play on him. So, you know, we just got to get used to it. But uh, Shotgun formation. Cool. Three receivers out there at the 11-yard line. Evan, thank you very much. All snap, rolling out to what the right. Throws it complete. A gain of two. Side. And that's Oshesky. Left housing, Cam. Six minutes, Cam 18 seconds years. left in the third. Corey, <laughs> <laughs> just subscribe. Shout out to you. Like Greg, that last, that pass picket through to uh, Boykin. Another example of if you're a receiver coming into this league and you can't adjust, if you can't make adjustments, body control, you can't play now. It used to be the onus was on the quarterback to throw it so accurately to a spot. Now it's just put it in an area. You make the play on it. Just keep it away from the defensive back. Second and eight. That's what did on that 30 throw. subscribers away, away from, from 23,600 subscribers. Boy, you done make so. the play. You make it right, and he did. I don't know what's going on. Confusion leads time to out. a timeout for Pittsburgh. Here's that play. Now watch. Now watch how Boykin goes downfield work as Bobby Price, number 27. See, he's looking inside. In the old days, that time ball out, was thrown Pittsburgh. inside, and you got to go up and compete for it. Now they tell you throw it away from the defender. And by the way, offensive uh, receiver, that's your job. Go get it. And if you can't do that now, you can't play in this league. You're not going to be drafted. It's not on the quarterback to be as precise. It's on you to make him right. That's, and that's not what a, he just that's, did. That's not an errant throw. It's no, supposed to that's be. exactly where it's supposed to be. By the way, uh, going back to Evan's conversation with Cam Hayward, if you were, there's his younger brother, he, he referenced number seven, 
used to be in there if you're new here we go Twitter. second eight <laughs> pick it under center three you know, to the top about you and me I'm so glad one you moves to the bottom line. ball is because snapped just into the running back to though oh, yeah, and to good job by the Lions in. defensive line lost it too everyone knows guess who it was folks you already know it's going to be third down number two Again, with the big play. Remember how we were talking about how comfortable he was? See him talking to his bench? Bryant is a beast. He wanted to make a throw on that play. <laughs> I think he had a play, play call in mind. Third and ten. He wanted, and he's letting the bench know, give me something I can work with here. Shotgun formation, bunch receivers to the bottom so three. One moves up to the top. Running so back to Pickett's left. Ball is snapped. Lions just rushed four. He's rolling around. Getting chased, throws it, incomplete. Intended for Olszewski. Curtis Ford and Sargasm. Thank you for subscribing. Because Kenny Pickett kept that play alive a long time, and usually someone springs free. And the Going for a field goal again. Not in this case to Mark Gilbert. Not only that, not only was the coverage good, he had pressed him to the sideline so much that even if he's not there to cover it, there's no way Oshesky comes down with that football inbounds. 29 yards. Here's Chris Boswell, three out of three today. Thank you, Chino from 45, Nick. from 34, from 38, this one. And it's incomplete. It was blocked. Blocked. No good. And nailed at the line of scrimmage, and this ball will go over to the Detroit Lions. 4.56 to play. Here we go, folks. What a crazy weird. Wonder why my name didn't show up when I subbed. Chaz, and, and if you're, you're looking to see if your name doesn't show up, some of you guys, you don't even know it. You have don't show your subscriptions as your, your default in your settings. So if you have that on there, it won't show up on here, on this, th on this thing. So if you have that like that, it won't show up. So if you have it where you, know, you can't see it, it won't show up. Number two is a beast, man. God dang. Bryant is, is no joke. Showing up, love to see it. Who blocked it? Don't know. Couldn't tell. Trubisky's own. Here we go. He does. J Mill 711 just subscribed. J Mills 11 subscriber. Thank you so much, man. Oh, Jesse's got a good one here. And this is big. If you think it's a great idea to put your hand in boiling hot water because you believe a hard boiled egg could cure boils mishaps, then please subscribe to the channel because. Jesse talks all things Detroit Lions news and rumors. Sometimes being a Lions fan, you can get third-degree burns. Also, take that like button with you. Throw it in that hot, boiling water. And let that bad boy boil up. Let's get into today's live watch party. Am I the only one who's amazed on the jump? I hope Brad Holm is watching his line his lineup get out class. 23-10 final. What is your final score? Throw in the comment section right now. Give me your final score for this game. What do you got? Do you got, I don't know, 27, 10, whatever your score is, throw that in the comment section. Final score of this game. Boyle should be thrown into the Detroit River. Why? So Frank Ragnow can fish him out? We don't want him to get fished out. We don't want that to happen. Yes, Bryant is a god, man. Dude has just been balling. Four minutes, 56 seconds Detroit left Lions take over at in the, the third. Yard line after the blocked field goal by Austin Bryant. Boyle under center. Justin Jackson is in the backfield as the Lions try to get... All his snaps given to Jackson... What does he do? He gets 10 yards. First down. First down yardage. Out to the 30 yard line. Well, somewhere upstairs. First in the and booth, 10. It's difficult to see with all the flashing lights. Is uh, Justin Jackson a new massive win? To the head coaching staff, or the coaching staff here in Pittsburgh, Brian Flores, the former Miami head coach, hired by Mike Tomlin. Boyle under center, two receivers to the bottom. Ball is snapped. 
play action, play throws it to Jackson for a seven yard game. I mean, he was, he was a defensive coordinator with the New England Patriots, highly successful. Head coach with the Dolphins. They had them within a game of the playoffs his second year as the head coach after Dark a rough start. KJ Denaco. And then last year, I think expectations subscribe. were a Appreciate lot higher. You. Could not believe they got off to a one and eight start, but battled back to within a game of playoff contention before not making second it. Second three. So it was a surprise he wasn't there anymore. So Mike Tomlin's hiring a very accomplished coach. And yes, is Will it under center. Of it with Two receivers, with tight end to the top. The Jackson, the, the running back. Stands the pocket, throws it incomplete. <laughs> in your duties. That pass. I mean, think about what Dan Campbell did with his staff in Detroit. All these former players, people he could lean on, people he could count on. Just Nine give it to Jackson on every play. Tomlin. And that's a big, big addition. I thought it was really interesting when I asked Mike Tomlin why he hired Brian Flores, and then he went on for 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. And, and remember his first sentence? Because he's a darn good football coach. That was the, the lead off right there. And that's where it Here we go. and should start each and every time you make a high. Three receivers. Is Tom Kennedy is coach? in there. Shotgun formation. Ball is snapped. He's looking for Kennedy. Didn't find him. He's rolling out. Get chased. Incomplete. Tim Boyle sucks. And they will bring out the punting unit. I mean, one last thing on that. I mean, think about... Greg, you, you covered Miami Why last is he year. On this team, probably man. when they're, when they're struggling and maybe when they got hot later. How many teams do you see start one and eight and turn it around like that if they don't have if the head coach doesn't have the players respect? And, and the thing that impressed How me throughout his team, tenure with the Dolphins is I'm his amazed. players. Play Lines are punting. Absolutely, because they could have that Ball season is totally, up. Right? They could have been done. And they turned that around. And got, fair got catch really at the 19. The Tyler Vaughns makes the fair catch. And now he also helps Terrell Austin, who's their new defensive coordinator. He's been a defense coordinator in the league before, so it's not his first time doing it. But now that's another mind on the defensive side of the ball. Imagine thinking that that strategy session. Mike Tomlin, defensive coordinator and NFL head coach. Terrell Austin, defensive coordinator. Brian Flores, defensive coordinator, head coach. Think they're going to get some defense talked about there? I think so. Yeah. Evan. First well, and the ten. echo everything you're saying, too. He talked to T.J. Watt, and he said, Floor's just the wealth of knowledge, just the little things that he can drop in, some nuggets. And Cam Hayward mentioned... All snaps, to get to the back. Good, good stop. Guys inside that he worked with, that he wants to take some time. one. Guy in year 12, good job by the Hayward defensive line. Flores as a resource because of so many great players he's been around. Yeah, Evan, and, you know... Great point. There, there's this... Second down. The linebackers nine. have always been such a point of emphasis for <laughs> Pittsburgh, and with Brian Flores there, you figure they're only going to get more lethal. Hey, listen, they're the, listen, they they are the engine that drives this machine here in Pittsburgh. Shotgun formation, three receivers, Evan two up, about, one down. Saying, Running back to the left Richard of Seymour Pickett. Just went to the Hall of Fame. What did he do that made Could him have been an offside. Throws it, caught first down to the 39-yard line. Gilbert, if you and know who he is, bad cover. To about the 38-yard line. Greg, you, I think in the first half we were, we were talking about, what about the backups not playing with the front line guys? How do you make an impression? You make an impression by Thank making you, the Matthew, backup you unit better. Thank you, Matthew, for becoming a subscriber. Kenny Pickett, you. okay, I'm not playing the front line guys. These are all backup guys. What if he fashions a drive downfield and scores a touchdown? Right? Extra bonus points for doing it without the first line Shotgun, guys. three receivers. Always snap, he's running back down the middle. Man about four or five. The rookie out of Oklahoma State. Now this is my favorite part about the evolution of Kenny Pickett at Pitt. Four, first four years, not bad numbers, nothing that you're going to do, you know, scream about. Oh, he's oh doing Sam, okay. you're preaching to the Look choir, the my guy. Touchdown passes. Will the Steelers His score on this years, drive? Why for yes and for no? Will they score 42. on this drive? Everything came Shotgun. The knowledge he accumulated. Ball snap, give it back to the running back again. Well Dana maybe one or two. Him. Third down well, and short. preseason, Kenny Pickett is not throwing very many incomplete passes. Coming into this game in the preseason, he was 19 Let's get to 550 today, likes, 11 away. He stayed accurate. And what did, what 13 did subscribers did away from 23,600. 13 away. Wow. Hit that subscribe. Let's get it done. Shotgun, third and three. Two receivers up top, one down. 
Ball is snapped. Four man rush in the pocket. Throws it. Complete caught. First down to the 48 of Detroit. First down. Cody White on the receiving end. 50 seconds left in the third. So there's that accuracy you were just describing. Let's go down to Evan. Guys, just to set the scene down here, Kenny Pickett is a cult hero in this town, and this crowd right now is chanting his name in unison. Trubisky might be the guy in week one, but there's no secret here. This stadium... Shotgun again. Three receivers, two up top. Ball is snapped. Play action, throws it, caught. The NFL draft. And that is a gain of six to coming. seven. There's another completion again to Tyler Vaughn. And his forward progress is going to be marked at about the 42-yard line. That should take us to the Lions. fourth quarter. And we are in the final seconds of the third quarter. So that'll take us to the end of three. Acrosure Stadium, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The there we go. The third quarter is over. We're at commercial break. We are now in the last quarter for both both our teams preseason. Then we go on to the regular season where it actually means something. What are you guys looking for in this game? What are you looking for? I am looking for word to the game being over where hopefully Tim Boyle will no longer be on this roster. That's what I'm looking for, word two. But give me... A score prediction right now of this game. Give me a score prediction. What is the final score going to look like when this game is over? Do you think it stays three to or sixteen to three? Do you think the it just stays like that? Do you think that Steelers score a couple more? You think the Lions get a touchdown? Throw it in the comments section. What is your score prediction for this game? This is exciting, Sarah David. Sarah, Sarah Davis, Sarah Rivera. I just seen that David, sorry, at the same time. Our guy, Micro Mike, is winning all day, every day, twice in a game. Appreciate it. We got 23-10, 23-10, 69-69, love it, 24-3, Mike Craig, 23-3, Coke, 23-6, Pitt, 21, Lions, 7, 10-16, Lions three win max uh, three thirty four twenty three and three seventeen and sixteen Lions twenty one April with a massive score there of winning um, ETN with the great score there of sixty nine sixty nine Mike Frazzard thirty to six Douchebagia just says it would be different with a boilless team twenty three ten thirteen nineteen ten sixteen thirty one three Marcus Willis ten sixteen twenty three Four three twenty three three. A lot of threes for the Lions were, you know, not really gaining that much. Everyone it looks to be well ninety five percent has the Steelers winning this game, as you would suspect. Three to forty seven. Reed, he going all in on that mug. <laughs> He's having it put to him. The audio will return as soon as the game returns. Right now, it is a commercial. As soon as it returns and it's getting close to returning, we will have that on there again. Subscribe to the channel, 13 away from 23,600. That was the goal for the end of this game. We got 15 minutes to get her right, done. Here's another one. And I like the pit brought back the old school pit. They got about that dark blue, got back to that, that shade right there. Shotgun formation. Three receivers. All snap. Give to running back down the middle, and he does not get the first down. Maybe a half a yard. That's it. So I asked for this to be built because Joe Burrow, Zach Wilson, the year before they were drafted, had good numbers. Okay, numbers. Nothing, you know. Third down. Jump. Both of them made. Both of them were consensus on by scouting places by the NFL. Third day grades, meaning rounds four through seven. This is my last, or Tuesday's my last day of working at a normal job. I worked YouTube full time after that. All snap, give to the running back. He got the first down to the 35 of Detroit. Let it play out. The drive continues. Kenny Snell spinning for a first down just inside the Detroit 35 yard line. Pick it in case you're wondering, 9 of 11 throwing today for 92 yards. 
We got seven, 556 likes. Dang, that's a good one. Appreciate it. First and 10. Shotgun, three receivers. Ball is snapped. Play action. He throws it. Incomplete. Good coverage by the Lions there, number 19. I don't know what it says that they can understand me, but <laughs> and that's Xavier that. Smith. Xavier Smith trying to cover balls well thrown, and Xavier Smith never gets his head around to make a play on it. But he did a good job Second getting ten. one arm and pulling it down, so he couldn't haul it in. It made it tough to make the catch, but it was a well thrown ball by Pickett. You saw Mason Rudolph there on the sideline alongside. Mitchell Maybe we get to 600 likes. I don't know. Get awesome. into this game. Or if. Shotgun through receivers. The 35 ball snap. Lines ball out blitz. Throws it. Incomplete. Just off the fingertips. Third and ten. Tyler Sneed. And it'll be third and ten. You notice in the different throws he's making. When he has to drive it, he drives it. Right? The touch pass we Chase saw. Chase Lucas was, was on missed. him. How about how he lofted that one up to try and give. His receiver an opportunity downfield. Tyler Sneed to run under it and make a catch. When he's off, he's not off by much. No, Here it not. is, a massive third and down. Third and ten. At the 35, location. shotgun. Four receivers. Ball is snapped. Throws it underneath. Great tackle. Loss of a yard. Chase Lucas. Tackle in the open field there by... Chase Lucas. Winner right, right there. there the Chase spot. Lucas. He's, hey, he's a boss. Michigan State now trying to win a tight end position. Yeah, they moved him all over, Greg. The Spartans did. Running back, H back, tight end. Fourth and back, 12. Ran back kicks. Kickoffs. Did a little bit of everything. That was a really good play by Lucas. Cameron sitting down with his little brother. They're going you know, for field goals, 54 you yarders. The ball is back. up. <laughs> it looks good. Well from 54 yards. And it is. And it's good. So the Steelers rebound. 19. Blocked field goal attempt. Boswell kicks it through, and Pittsburgh extends its lead to 19 to 3. And yeah, when we brought up that whole brotherly thing and the Steelers team doesn't Sarah like says F in sibling. <laughs> <laughs> but he said he had quite the age difference. And I'm thinking that's a good thing for Cameron. 12 yeah. 59 Not left in the game. All, right? Can the Lions at least get a touchdown here? Get, My God. Found a way Give the, Blau the ball. Them being teammates in the regular season. On the far side of Connor Hayward. That coach, that's Alfredo Roberts, who's a good tight end in the NFL and does an excellent job coaching these youngsters now. But remember, the decision was made early by Pittsburgh when they drafted Connor Hayward. They didn't draft him for the fullback spot. That's Derek All right. Kick off. Another part of the brothers. <laughs> they said, you're going to go play tight end. He will take it back to the 25. Really here, <laughs> well, we, we had, we I like Jake. I got to say, Chase Lucas is a gem. He has been nothing but for a seventh-round pick, he needs to make this football team. Any, look, any unit looked good today. The defense, Mike Coleman, generally looked pretty good. I mean, they were given bad spots with the offense. They've been on the field the whole time, and they've looked pretty good, I, I got to say. I'd say red. And, and word. You know, that, that Panthers Browns game, it has a little intrigue for some reason. Blau right? is in, folks. Is David Blau is in. With, with Cleveland. All snap given to Jackson up the middle. Huge game to the 40. Oh, no. Wow, that was That's his correct well, Reynolds. It? I thought it was Jackson. Craig Reynolds would have been game. You mentioned the left side. Watch these guys get up here and create that space. I'm and surprised they're having Reynolds, Reynolds read get it. in there now. And look at that. Good job on the gap. Being able to get up field. Logan Stenberg, 71. Shotgun. On one side. Now Four, to get up five field. receivers. No, they're going all in here. They're going all deep. Ball is snapped. Stand the pocket. He throws it underneath. And back back to the far side. And David Blau is the Bad quarterback pass. now, by the way. Underneath. That is intended for Khalil Plimpton. 
You know, neither one of these quarterbacks is just going out and seizing the set backup job, I think, Greg. I think both of them are playing, but no one is leaving their coaches with the impression of he has to be the guy, which means all their body of work prior to today comes into play with this as well. And I will guarantee you at some point, Dan Campbell's going to say gut feeling. Three receivers, Craig Reynolds, the running two. back. Shotgun at the 40. Ball is snapped. Throws it to Greg underneath. A gain of maybe two, but a flag on the play. Does that, and we have a flag down. If that's the case, then does that backup position fluctuate through the season depending on who had the better week of practice? It possibly could. It very well Pass could. Pass interference. Offense number 15. 10-yard penalty. Second down. Come that far. Alexander. But I do think overall they're going to want to put one guy in there. He's the guy because there's a rhythm to your week and how you work, right? The backup does this. The number three guy 12 does that. 12 subscribers, folks, to, to 23,600. Subscribe to the channel right now. And let's be honest about it. You don't want them taking many snaps. Let's get anyway. it. We get 12. We today. Has anyone seized this job? Not yet. Shotgun. Two receivers at the bottom, two up top. Ball snap. He's standing in the pocket. He throws it deep. Caught. First down. Almost. To the 48. Third down and two. Two yards shy of a first down. It'll be third and two. Maurice Alexander with a big catch. Good protection afforded him by his front wall. Clock continues to move. 11.35 to play here in the fourth quarter. 32 likes away from 600. Smash the like button if you haven't done so. Right so right now, I'm guessing Dan Campbell is looking for consistency. Yeah, somewhere. And just just hand the nice ball off. Out. God the damn. Everyone uses stacking. Five receivers. Ball is snapped. Throws it. Caught. First down. First Tom down. Kennedy Inside to the 43. To the 43-yard line. All right, sure fire Kennedy. That's Tom Kennedy on the receiving end. And he's been a flash in the preseason for the last couple of years. A college football lacrosse player. Gave up football for a couple of seasons to focus on lacrosse. Came back to it later. And he's a guy that just finds himself open in the preseason. Wow, under center. Special teams to give him a better chance. Three to receivers. Two touchdown catches against Indy here last time out. Reynolds, the running back, gets the ball. Gain of Reynolds six. Second Again, four. the running room on the left side inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. And who are those guys on the left side there in the game now? It's not the front line, offensive line. So on the left side, Big Dan Skipper, number 70. And Logan Stenberg, 71. And the center's number 63, Evan Brown. They've got something going on that side of the, ball, that side of the line of scrimmage when they want to run Second the Second five. Lau under center at the 38 of Pittsburgh. Three receivers, Reynolds is the lone back. Ball is snapped, given to Reynolds. First down to the 30, to the 25, 20. Craig Reynolds with a big game. And remember that left side, but watch the vision of Craig Reynolds. He sees how it's blocked and he bends it back to the right side where there's up to effort. Craig Reynolds is fired. After the initial blocks at the line of scrimmage. A really good read by Craig Reynolds out of Kutztown to get upfield for big yardage. 38 yards rushing on the day for Reynolds. And a no set of downs. Lau under center, three receivers. Godwin is running back, given to Godwin. Dana one. He had a head of steam underway, and he's brought down by Donovan Jeter. Did you notice how he thinks he stayed on top of the defender when he rolled and kept his legs Nine moving, minutes left in the game. And I don't think that they ever blew it dead. Really smart play by Iguabuque. Uh, See how he stays on top of... Oh, he wasn't down. No, his shoulder but was. But there's the elbow yeah, touching. Elbow. So that, he should be down right there. Looks like they got away with one because no one's bringing that There it is, back. first and, and 10 at the 11, ten. and it's going to be a review. <laughs> you didn't see that? Good practice. The ruling on the field is that the runner rolled over bodies and was not down. Pittsburgh has challenged that ruling. Our first challenge of the day. Let the head coach loosen up the pitch. Coach's challenge, right. folks, well, we and they're going to a timeout. It is going to be overturned. His elbow was down. But I agree with you, Nicole C. 
pull Craig Reynolds. No reason to have him out there. He is RB3. We need to not have him get injured. Let's get to 600 likes. 21 away. Now 20. 20 likes away. Smash that like button, folks. Let's get to 600. 600. If we get to 600, I may just shut up talking about it. Then Chas Sports, they will be smiling and very happy. Let's get to 600. And 12 subscribers away from the 23-600. That was the goal. Yeah, we'll see what running back is going to be in there. I, I agree. I you know, Maybe just don't get injured. We don't want these guys to get injured. So and a guy like Craig Reynolds, who is our number three, don't want him to get injured. Ten likes away from 600. We can do it. And it's still far for you guys Here being Lions go. fans. I'm always Cowboys fan, and they're always letting me down. But Detroit never tries to build a winner. Dana Hislope, thank you for the subscription. Shout out to you. Appreciate it. Again, about 15 minutes after the game is over, I'll have the post-game video. I will drop that right after I drop the post-game video. We'll be going on Lions Nation Unite YouTube channel for the post-game show. We're going to have Mark Orham on there. We're going to have Anthony from Royal Lions UK. We're going to have Lion Rumble 81 and myself. It's going to be a fun time. But let's get back to this game right now. Yes. Waiting for the lovely stuff to... Oh, we got 10 subscribers away now from 23,600. 10 away. Holy hell. And we hit the 600 goal like. Wow. Amazing. Here we go. Well, chug a little refreshment while we wait for the decision. And here's Alex Kemp. It's going to get overturned. It has to come back. We saw the elbow. After review, the runner's elbow was down at the 20 and a half yard line. It'll be second down at that spot. Please reset the game clock to 916. It will start on my signal. I think they could have actually Pittsburgh got it is not twice. charged with a timeout. Although the first one you could dispute a little bit. The elbow indisputable. In indisputable. The, this you could probably say yes down right there. Okay, you see that right there. Who cares? He's down. Not really but at the same time, okay. If you're going to say that that's in Second 10. The elbow was shotgun, conclusive. three receivers, one back. All is snapped. So on second down. He throws it. Caught to, to Pimp. A gain of Inside eight. 15, Third and two. And then he was hit hard. Justin Lane coming over to knock him out of bounds. They're going to go for a fourth if they don't get this here, by the way. He's had a few moments throughout training camp. But boy, it's a tough, tough receiver's room he's trying to break into. They have a lot of really young, talented players that can play on the out, on the perimeter for Detroit. Shotgun formation. Four receivers. 33. Looks like Reynolds is the back. Hey, uh, hard to tell. Ball is snapped. Throws it. Caught. Inside First down inside the 10, to the eight-yard line. Eight yard line. Craig Reynolds. First and goal. Lions got to get it down. here. And it'll be first and goal. I'll do an ultra combo if we get a touchdown. Reynolds, one of those fighting for a spot in that backfield rotation. Yeah, the, we know number one. Here we go. Set, DeAndre Swift, Jamal Williams. Wow. Under center. Reynolds, Jefferson, Justin Two receivers, Jackson. one tight end. Reynolds is the lone back. Ball is snapped. Given to Reynolds down the middle. He is taken down for a gain of one. Reynolds tripped up before he got started. Eight minutes left in this game. Carlos Davis. Another one of those siblings on the Steeler defense. Carlos Davis and his brother Khalil, both D linemen. And the tough part is for most siblings, they play different positions. So it's really not that Seven minutes, 34 seconds and counting. These two play defensive line. I mean, it could come down Shotgun to one formation. of them as opposed to both of them making the team. Four receivers, two up and two down. Ball is snapped. He throws it. Tucked. Oh, incomplete. Kennedy dropped it. He had it. That was a touchdown, but he dropped it. What's up, Adam Jones? Welcome back. 
dang, I, he never drops him. good throw, too. Kennedy just unable to grip it and hang wow. on to it. Carlin's, Carlin's Patel. Uh, what a Patel. drop. Also wears Third in goal. Warren. He helps break that one up. We got four receivers, one back. Throws it. Almost intercepted. No good. Fourth and goal. We got to do field goal. Sorry about that, Greg. Looked like linebacker Buddy Johnson helped get involved. There's a Davis uh. trying to make a play. Buddy Johnson draped on him. They're going for it, fourth and goal. Come a bit early. Yeah, I think so, and, and I don't think the ball was tipped, which would have allowed him to get there. But the officials letting them play it out here to finish out preseason. Shotgun. Five, four wide. They're blitzing. He throws it. Incomplete. Dropped by Pimpleton for the touchdown, but he dropped it. He had the touchdown. He knows he just is no longer on the roster. He dropped the touchdown. He had it. Just a flat out drop. There's no other way to describe it. And those are the types of things when you're trying to make a team, you have no margin for error. And Blau took his team down there. That one of the better drives of the game for Detroit, if not the best drive, and they still come away empty. Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph in there. Teams. Under center. This is Jalen Young. Gain of one yard. Rookie running back from Oklahoma State. So there he is, Kenny Pickett. His day is done. 10 of 14, 90 yards, no touchdowns, no interception. This is a really good shot right there. Of what Seven I subscribers are. away, folks, from 23,607. Trubisky to away. begin the season as QB1. I'm going to get this clock up better for you guys. Two, would not be surprised if That's you get this opportunity good. before that season, this season concludes. Ball snapped. They run it. Lose yeah, two yards. Lose yardage. Third down. And it'll be third down and 10. Yeah, Pimple sealed his fate right there. He's not making a line, Steve. Five NFL seasons Rudolph has with the Steelers. Only 10 total starts. And last year, his only start was against Detroit. Rudolph showcasing for the Detroit Lions this here. This is where Pittsburgh has the decision to Third make. Third and ten. Their brand new general manager, Mike Tomlin, head coach. That personnel department, do you keep three quarterbacks in this roster? Or are you keeping two? Lions blitz. Rosen. Sideline. Incomplete. Flag on and the Lions for pass interference. <laughs> Tyler Vaughn's the intended receiver. First out. Good job jumping back into it, didn't he, Greg? <laughs> Will Harris covering. Let's take a look. Watch Vaughn's number 80 as he gets up field against Will Harris. Will Harris still in this game. He has not won the corner job. Akuda is the number two corner. The NFL spot foul. Ball goes to where the penalty occurred in that situation. And last thing, Greg, Mike Tomlin addressed it with us and addressed it with the local media. What if someone calls about Mason Rudolph? I think his intention is to keep him around, but he said, if you're coming, you better Shotgun, throws it incomplete. Second down. Tyler Sneed, just a touch. Bob Slays just subscribed. Thank you so much. And Matthew and Dana. Thank you for subscribing, guys. Appreciate it. Mason Rudolph, fifth year out of Oklahoma State. Coming into this game, completing passes at a 72% clip. Shotgun. Three receivers. At the 23. Ball is snapped. Incomplete. Third down. Even though he's been around for a while. And then Mike Tomlin challenged him. 
said, listen, you're going to play with the third string group. Yep, you're it's over. Was Mike uh, the, the competition JV. is over. So when Kuda you is the, the JV, number two. You be a quarterback. You'd be better. And he did that in Jacksonville. So you like what he saw. And Woo! He what Mike Man, I'm hearing some past. woos Charlie up in this mug. Right, who was here before, who did that sort of a thing. So... Third and ten, 5.36 in the clock. Shotgun. Four receivers. Can you imagine Mike Tomlin in the sandbox at the end? Lions rush four. Ball is snapped. He throws it deep. And incomplete. That would have been a hell of a catch. That was a good throw by Rudolph. That was a damn good throw. a nice throw by Rudolph down the middle of the field as well. Nice tight That would have been a hell of a catch and a hell of a throw. Pittman, but that was a hard catch. Would have been a really difficult catch with the ball. Emperor forever. Just subscribe to, to the channel. Arm. Shout out to you. They punt. Lions get another chance just to get a touchdown. Ball is up. Take it back at the 20. This one from his 20. 25 to the 26. Across the 25 and down at about the 27 yard line. Well, this one is always <laughs> tough for those of us who are really close to uh, the NFL and the media community. All saddened by the loss of Jason. 519 Jenkins, left. And senior vice president of communications who died unexpectedly yesterday at age 47. Jason spent three subscribers away years with the Miami Dolphins after seven with the 49ers. Let's get it done. Subscribe three away from 23,600. Subscribe three away. Let's get it. His wife, Elizabeth, Will I score here? Why for yes and for no blow up the comment section wise and ends. Plow under center. Three receivers, one back. At the 26, ball is snapped, given to the running back, taken down, loss of four. Hit hard by Khalil Davis. Khalil Davis, a monster up in that defensive line for the Steelers. Holy hell. I think you saw Carlos's plays and, and used a little bit of motivation. <laughs> well, my brother did it. I better get some of this. I too. unsubscribed. Oh, I'm, that sucks. Well, there goes one. Otherwise, Second 13. <laughs> Ball is snapped, throws it. No one even looked. Penalty marker flies. Oh, this game's rough. Defense number 45. Ball's placed the spot of the foul. First down. Buddy Johnson is guilty of the flag. Well, Greg, you identified him on a previous series. Ricardo, just, just subscribe. Shout called. out to you. This one, he left no doubt. <laughs> he went ahead and did it. In case anyone had it. Shotgun. <laughs> Five <laughs> receivers. Lingering thoughts about the previous one. So from the All snaps, he throws it to Reynolds. Eight of six, Greg Reynolds. And that's Craig Reynolds again. My mom will subscribe, Derek says. Here in the second half. Uh, She's not into football. Two was a spot that had to be figured out. And we've seen some quality plays. I second Justin and three, Jackson they're doing a hurry up today. offense here. Shotgun. Three receivers, now one back. Jump in there a little bit. So they've got some decisions to make about who will come in. Noah right just subscribed. Shout out to you, ball snap. Given to Reynolds and another flag for the 550th damn flag in this game. Ball start. Ball start. Offense number 76. Five yard penalty. Second down. Kendall Lamb is number 76, and the penalty is on him. We're talking about Craig Reynolds. He has caught three passes for 18 yards today. And he's carried five times for 37. 17 likes from 650. Shotgun, three receivers. Reynolds. He leaves them good thoughts along the way. Is the lone back. Two blows right. Play clock down to three, down to two, down to one. And they All the is clock. snapped, throws it, wow. caught to Pippleton. First down to, to the 40, 45, 50. And up to midfield and knocked out of bounds is Cleo Pippleton. Evan, let's go down to you. Here with Najee Harris. Najee, we're on the eve of this season. How would you describe your excitement for year two? 
Uh, I think I'm very excited, man. I'm very excited to just to be out here with the guys and um and you know from last Fast year. Fast close from home buyers year, from today and um see what's up. Uh, you with the G and, uh, move right on there. On the surface, there weren't many mistakes. What would you take away that you wanted to work on from year one? Uh, it was a lot of mis a lot of mistakes. There's a lot of things we need to work on though. Um, Ball snap you know, given to Craig outside, Reynolds. A loss of. It, but you know, from the inside out, you know, just uh, the game planning and and how schemes is and how we do things. Um, there's a lot of things that I need to work Jay on. Jay, subscribe. And, um, so, you know, shout out to film, Jay with the and, great uh, name. Learning mistakes. Here and, we go. So much discussion. Ryan, about the subscribe. Touches, your durability over the course of the season, your ability to hold up. Would you do this off season to make sure you're prepared to do that again? Oh, I can hold up, man. Um, I'm not too worried about that. I don't think the you know Mike T or anybody here is too worried about that either. But the off season, man, I, I, I always have, I always train a lot. Second um, 14. And where you know I can withstand a, a heavy workload in the, in the ball in the snap so, um, you know, throws it caught anything, gain about you know, five Kennedy see, you know, us, third us down and nine off the field what was the coolest thing you did when you weren't playing football the last uh, six months did you have any fun no probably went to Mexico right, Mexico's a come good on yeah. get a freaking touchdown for God's sakes all business, Shotgun. Guys. I think he's ready. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you. Four receivers. Thank you very much. Yeah, he is One back be so important. This at the 49. Pittsburgh rushing offense was All snap. Throws it underneath. Caught. That's got to get better. It's interesting how he Gain just of what? Five to punches? Ready. To him, that's just a normal Tuesday. Fourth down. We had a terrific article. How about he downplayed Mexico? <laughs> he, did, he definitely downplayed Mexico. But that's understandable. I'll tell you about the training part. But... When he's talking about training, he read a great article. Lions got two time or three timeouts and the two minute days. warning. Obena Eze is the left TV tackle. Workouts. Different things to affect his body. Lamb is Boxing right tackle, workout, just FYI. Workout in the weight room, sprints, every shotgun. Fourth and five. Here is a false start by Obena Eze. Nope, that's like Funches. So. All start. All start. Offense a, number 13. Five-yard penalty. Still fourth down. Devin Funches, the guilty party. Devin Former Funches just not made Carolina. the team. He is now no longer on this football to team. To fourth and ten. He's expecting better. Four receivers. Fourth and ten. Ball is snap. And he is <laughs> throws a funky pass and gets the first down for 15. What the hell was that? Five dollar super chat for RV Hoppa. Goff almost four thousand yards, thirty-three touchdowns, fourteen interceptions this year. Huge shout out to RV Hopper, record and wild card. I want to see this bad. Well, shout out to you, RV, for that. That was a crazy play. I cannot believe they converted oh, that. Oh my God! He just underchucked it when he was falling. That was David Blau. Abu Godwin Igbuke caught it and got 15 yards. That was a hell of a weird play. Blau wins. I think he, he's got to have won this quarterback battle. I, I mean, he didn't do anything great this game, but he's moved the ball like Tim Boyle. Tim Boyle had the first string offense. Couldn't do anything, man. So we're going to be talking about that. Boyle has got to be gone. Boyle's got to go. We're nine likes away from 650. 706 in the building. You guys have been killing it. Even Steelers fans, got to give you a shout-out to you guys. Showing nothing but respect out there. We had some technical difficulties on this stream early on. CBS had technical difficulties. The players on the field with the flags had technical difficulties. This was a weird one for a game. So I'm glad we looks like we all made it through it. Scaved. Post-game video will be about 15 minutes after the stream ends. And post-game show, LNU, will be about 30 minutes. So I got to set it up. Get the guys on all of that lovely stuff. Watch the Lions beat the Eagles after this. It's going to be tough, man. Eagles I are 
are I I have them winning, but you never know. This is the NFL. Need to get a new quarterback in the mix. We need to have two, you know, yeah, backup quarterback right now. We need to get one. I don't care who it is. I don't care who. Someone's got to be there. One more like to 650. One more like to 650. Lions are not beating the Eagles. New subscriber here, Zone Out. Says, I'm a new subscriber here. Well, I appreciate you. This was a, this was a long day, folks. A lot of issues. A lot of issues. And we hit 650, so I'm going to stop saying the like button. I will retire that one for the night. They actually show Jared Goff. Jared Goff, who we knew would on not the see the field today. Other than Here we the go. Let's get a freaking touchdown. Shotgun. I'll do ultra combo if we get it. Mark Brunel, the quarterback's coach next to All is snapped. Get He's going deep. Incomplete. Second down and 10. Tom Kennedy. Well, well, since I know, yeah, since I know Coach Mike Tomlin's going to call me and tell me to quit picking his roster, he doesn't need any help. Let me just go ahead and help pick Dan. Campbell's Rodrigo roster. did good. Okay, Defense right did ahead. good. No, I'm not going to complain. Too. Barnes did hella good. Back three, but you said something earlier that resonates with me, Greg, and that is depending on how these guys continue through their year, that could change too. The backup quarterback role. Somebody may beat someone out. Shotgun the four wide at the 35. They got to freaking get something today, here. More things happen better for Blau, I thought, than for Boyle. And I think the ball will be number snapped, two. Ball snapped, thrown it. Oh. Pimp caught it for a gain of three. Clock moves third down. And the reason I think that is that I don't think that Dan Campbell is your regular no. coach and predictable and anything like that. He will maybe wake up on Tuesday and have a different thought process. Ball and is you know, snapped third and seven. He's got pressure. He runs it, throws it. Incomplete oh, drop. Paul Tarr just subscribed. Huge shout out to you. Incomplete. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, the Detroit Lions will open their season against the Philadelphia Eagles on September 11th again to Washington before they hit the road the at day Minnesota, will live on Seattle and then on the road Forever. at New England the playoff team from last shotgun year, new quarterback in Washington new head coach in five Minnesota. nope four receivers one back it looks like Godwin's the back good feeling of hard knock summer into the regular season. All those changes mean you throw out last year's film, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. You got, you got to go back to the film. Throws it caught for. first down. Oh, Trinity Benson with the Trinity first down. On the receiving end. David Blau got and hit Blau hard. The made the connection. A couple flags back there where he oh, got Ah, God dang too. flags. They might be getting some extra yardage tacked on. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense number 73. Half the distance to the goal line from the end of the play, automatic first If he down. gets the touchdown, it's Blau's job. Yeah, he's going to get you for that. I mean, it's just it's kind of a continuation play. A minute 16 on the clock. Just, you know, the officials don't want it. The league doesn't want it. That flag's going to come out every time. That means it's not supposed to continue into tomorrow. No, there's, it's not that continuation and one in basketball. Yeah, Zach's the announcer saying it. Doesn't so mean that our guys say it. At the Pittsburgh 12 yard line. First and 10 at the 12. Shotgun, five receivers. Ball is snapped. Stands, he throws it to the end zone. No, incomplete. Yeah. Overshoots his intended receiver. Meanwhile, this is how the Steelers will go into the new season. They'll start off at Cincinnati against the Bengals. Then they'll come home to host New England, travel to Cleveland, home against the New York Jets, and then on the road. That's a tough Buffalo. schedule. Nothing light about that start, is there? The AFC champions. Okay. New England's New England. Second and ten. Now, Deshaun Watson will not be playing quarterback in Cleveland. Shotgun. It's still division Four rival, receivers, three trouble. bunched up to the top. The now Kennedy's Buffalo moving from five. top to next to punches the there. Last year. Ball is snapped. He throws it to Kennedy and underneath. You gotta stop throwing underneath. Come on! God dang it! And Get a pair of balls and throw it in there. One minute to play. Jesus! Shotgun at the 10. Four receivers. You know, Dan Campbell from watching Hard Knocks, you know that 
This is big for him. He throws it. Incomplete. God. Carlin's Patel got the hand on it as the Detroit receiver slipped at the goal line. Well, they were lucky that didn't just go back the other way. <laughs> and you'd be describing him running. Good ball. Fourth and eight. This is just brutal to watch. Five receivers again. Six seconds on the play clock. Fourth and eight. Ball is snapped. Throws it. Incomplete. Terrible pass. Game. Flag on the play. Donovan Steiner. Well, it, it looks like a, see the Riley. Personal foul. Face mask. <laughs> Defense first down, Lions. After this is the goal line, automatic first down. They gave him Donovan Steiner's number. Yes, they did. That's Elijah Riley, who they just picked up this week, formerly with the New York Jets, out of Army and undrafted free agent. And they just said, hey, you be Steiner. And somehow they made, they, they found, him, found a way to get his name on it. Yeah, wear this for Gumble. <laughs> wear this one. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So, Elijah, you made a great First play and the goal. goal. Forty-one seconds on the clock. T.J. Well, Watt, by the way, is on the sideline. He looks fine to all you Pittsburgh fans. It's time to go. That's the most important takeaway is injuries and they look final fine. decisions and even tougher telling young people that their dream may have died in your place. Shotgun, five receivers. Heard, Chuck Noll used to say at the five. Get on with your life's work. What did Dan Campbell? What did Dan Campbell tell us? Here we go. And he throws it on first and away. Oki Yadis just subscribed. Thank you. Thirty-six seconds on the clock. Another nice play by Elijah Riley. He actually got signed by Pittsburgh, landed at 9 a.m. here in Pittsburgh, and went right to practice. <laughs> There's no time to rest when you're trying to make a team. Second goal, 36 seconds left on the clock. Five receivers again, shotgun at the five. Before time Godwin in motion. Ball is snapped. He's doing a quarterback sneak, right and no, he throws it. Five, Touchdown! Finally! Holy hell! So far, no flag seen. I think they're going to discuss it back there. The umpire flag. And the God, the back dang it! Who are behind the line of scrimmage? If it stands, it's a touchdown pass to Quintez Cephas. I do see a flag now. I believe on the field. Touchdown. Dan Campbell wanting clarification. Jeez. I think the touchdown's going to stand. Personal foul. Roughing the passer, defense number 31. That 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. They got to go for the two, the and then they got to do onside kicks. He gets really close to that line of scrimmage. Nope, he's good. He's okay. And remember, he could have that front foot over. You have to release the ball before the back foot crosses, or the or, or the, the, the the back body part. As long as any part of go your body is the line of scrimmage, that counts as behind. He had, he had his full body behind it. Here we go. That Shotgun. Five it. receivers. Back in Michigan. All snap. <laughs> he throws it. Well, incomplete. Well, incomplete for the two-point conversion. Well, the second time we saw Blau improvise that way for good plays. 
Picked up a first down earlier with an underhanded toss, and then I think Blau won the backup play. roll by default, folks. That's really it. So David Blau getting some congratulations on the far side of the field. Mitch Trubisky with a solid first half of work. Tim Boyle sucks. Blau They're not good. I don't see the S begins with 60 minutes of an amazing. I got to remove that that stuff there, but I'll do a. All right, 30 seconds onside kick here. Yeah, I, I'm not saying he's good at all. He does suck. Charles Davis, this has been fun. This has been a blast. Thank this you so much not for not really for, been that for fun. being here, Greg, and for the chance to stand next to you and work the game. This has been awesome. Yeah, Blau just didn't suck that much. Yep, that's it. As long as we keep straight, the no relation. <laughs> onside kick. Lions got it. And nope. It belongs to the Lions. Lions. Yes. Nope. No, he the wrong way he first. Pointed the wrong way, right? Lions got so the ball. Lions football. So Chase, Chase Lucas. Lucas made the team, Covered by the way. The far side of the field. And he's a guy that's, you know, been been battling to make this team. We got to score a like touchdown, a bigger, onside a kick, stronger, field goal. He's around the ball so often. Remember the Atlanta game when he had a chance to put it away with the interception and dropped it? Yep. He actually came back and practiced that week and, and won a drill. Lucas made the team, by the so way. If you don't make the team, I'd be disappointed. Dave Ablau saying, help out. So imagine we'll see David Blau launch a couple towards the end zone. We got three timeouts. Detroit there we go. All three of its timeouts remaining. Pittsburgh down to one. 29 seconds on the clock. They're at the 37. Shotgun. Four receivers. Ball is snapped. He goes deep for the end zone. Incomplete. Double coverage. Lindy Stevens there to break up the pass. Intended for Trudy Blau is shaking up. He's limping. And Blau coming up a little gimpy. Here's why. We got to switch the... I did say I was going to do more likes, yeah, but we're at 666 uh, likes. Can we just get one more like? Don't like that. <laughs> 666 is the number. Just one more like. Do you want to come out? No, sir. Second no 10. Chance. He can get Cephas, number 87, all the way down through with his big body and make one of those. Scrambling, and he's yeah. running. He and just he gains about five down. yards. Take timeout. And Detroit will stop the clock. There's my timeout. 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 Detroit, Detroit with 13 first of the half to play. 30 seconds of length. Please reset the game clock to 16 seconds. And you say, why would you do that? Because that man right there wants a touchdown. <laughs> Absolutely. Before you get on that plane and fly back to Detroit. Thank you, guys. You know, oh, man, we can get to 700 likes. I can't himself. believe that. I can't believe Let's that. Let's just get out of here. All right? I don't want anybody hurt or anything. But the competitor in him will not allow him to do it. That, that, that example for your players. You can't do it. Because you can't go back in there and tell them what you want when you haven't shown, shown it that way. Third and six. 16 seconds. You got two timeouts to throw it in the middle. Third and six for David Blau. And David Blau is sacked. And it looks like the Lions is going to let this thing go. And that will run out the clock. That is it, folks. There you go. And that'll do it. Our final. There you go, folks. That is the final score there. It is 19-9 in a weird game. I appreciate everybody hanging out, folks. I got to make my post-game video, post-game show on LNU. We are about to get this thing going. I appreciate, again, everybody hanging out. We do this every single Sunday. Subscribe if you haven't done so. I will see you later. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't
Don't try to stop me, I exist to remember your story I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory, yeah Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring, yeah Just want a life that is worth every day exploring, yeah My whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me my whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great